Konoha, prepare to defect, the system is coming. Chapter 21. The next day, the sun rose as usual. Asuka was woken up by the orange cat's overweight body as usual. After noticing some difficulty in breathing, he opened his eyes and put the orange cat lying on his chest on the other side of the pillow, then yawned and got up from the bed. Gululululu. Asuka brushed her teeth facing the window while studying the book in her hand titled, Fashionable Beauty Body Limits. Boom. 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 Just when he finished brushing his teeth and was about to take a nap, there was a knock on the door of the room. Before he could answer, the door was pushed open with a creak. A little head with long purple hair emerged from the crack in the door. Mao Yuxian didn't seem to expect that Finiao's door was unlocked. She was a little surprised at first, then looked inside curiously, and happened to see Asuka standing in the middle of the living room, holding a tooth cup in one hand and a magazine whose cover looked like it was not a children's book in the other hand. Seeing the other party's eight-pack abs and strong thighs exposed, Woyuki Shian blinked and her face instantly turned red. Excuse me. Boom. The girl slammed the door and leaned against the door, breathing heavily. There was still some chill in the morning in Konoha in February, but this cold air made her not aware of the coolness at all. She only felt that hot sweat was constantly pouring out of her forehead. Is there anyone who watches that when brushing their teeth in the morning? But then she thought about it, and Shein suddenly realized that shouldn't he be the one who felt embarrassed when he was caught peeking at dirty magazines. Why do you want to hide yourself? It's so cowardly. Thinking like this, Shein summoned up the courage to open the door again. However, at this time, Asuka had already put on his clothes and threw the magazine aside. Toad Immortal can get rich by going to the bathhouse to collect materials for his creations, but there is no reason why he can't get rich by collecting materials from books. If it weren't for the sales volume of the other party's intimate series in the ninja world, Asuka would be a little jealous, and he would actually want to write some serious books. Looking at the complicated expression on Xian's face, Finiao said angrily. Hey, what's your expression? Haven't you seen enough? As he spoke, he opened the refrigerator door, took out a box of ice milk and a box of tonkatsu-flavored instant noodles, and continued. Do you know the word, stay open at night? The Uchiha tribe has a very good custom. I don't close the doors or windows at night. I remember to knock on the door first next time. Quote. New. Sheehan lowered her head slightly, and the sweat on her face turned into sweat caused by running too fast, as she thought in her mind. Teacher. Seeing Asuka boiling water to make noodles, Sheehan pointed to the cold milk next to her and said with some hesitation. Do you want to eat it hot or cold? Yes, this is a way to exercise your willpower. That. Sheehan poked her finger, her cheeks blushed again, and she felt guilty. Actually, I can cook. You. After looking at the other person up and down, Asuka raised his eyebrows and said doubtfully. Can you ask me for anything? What? I just watched the teacher eat like this in the morning. I'm afraid that the teacher will be upset. Listening to the other party's lack of confidence, Finiao put his hand into the water and tested the water temperature before speaking. Tell me, what's going on with you? That. After hesitating for a while, Mao Yuxian gritted her teeth and said, I'd better make breakfast first. With that said, she trotted to the kitchen, took Asuka's strong arm, dragged him all the way to the living room and pressed him on the sofa, then put on an apron and started busy in the kitchen. Half an hour later, after Asuka looked at the egg slices, fried bread and ham on the plate, he looked up at Xian and his eyes changed again. To be honest, just half an hour ago, he thought he could have some delicious meal. This is the result. Good. After taking a bite of the ham and realizing that it still tasted the same as before, Asuka gave the other party a thumbs up and praised it. It's really well done, and it doesn't even taste mushy at all. Your boyfriend will be blessed from now on. Quote. Hey, hey. After giggling for a while, Mao Yuxian remembered the purpose of her visit. Her eyes fell on the bird eating the poached eggs, and she looked forward to it. Teacher, I heard that you learned swordsmanship in the past. I studied it, but after studying for a while, I found it was not the same as what I thought, so I gave up. He did learn swordsmanship for a period of time. He thought he could slash through the air like in the pirate world, but later he discovered that it was just slashing with a samurai sword. It was far less effective than ninjutsu. Later, 
he used Sharingan to copy some swordsmanship, and then turned to learn other things. Teacher, I have a request for you. Tell me, teacher, I'm easy to talk to. Hearing this, Uoyuki Shian took a deep breath, then bent down and bowed in one breath, closed her eyes and shouted. Teacher, please accept me as your disciple. Ah. Asuka blinked and instantly felt that the eggs in his mouth were no longer fragrant. He put down his chopsticks and turned to look at the other party. You mean apprentice? Yes. Hearing the other party's firm voice, Asuka felt like his temples were beating like a motor. What inspired this guy to suddenly want to be my apprentice? After asking the question in his mind, he saw Yuo Yushian closing her legs and speaking firmly. You are the best medical ninja among sword ninjas, and you are also the best swordsman ninja among medical ninjas. Grandpa Gusuk personally admits that your mastery of swordsmanship is no less than his. Lady Tsunade once mentioned that if each team is equipped with a medical ninja, the chance of survival of the team members will be improved. I want to learn medical ninjutsu, but I don't want to give up swordsmanship, and Xi'an can't have two people as my teachers at the same time. Quote. Gu Jia. Isn't it the old man who took the blame, the 10,000-year-old genin who is as famous as Matt Dai? After thinking of who Gusuk was, Asuka twitched the corner of his mouth and his face instantly fell. He had copied a lot of sword skills from him, but now it seemed that it was time to return them. After a moment of silence, he turned to look at Shi Yan and said slowly. What happened that made you suddenly want to study medicine? Shi Yan clicked her tongue, showing an innocent expression, staring at the ceiling with innocent big eyes without saying anything. When her tribe members were competing yesterday, she accidentally cut the opponent, and then her mother closed the door at night and beat herself up. Last night, while lying in bed, she realized why her teacher wanted to learn medical ninjutsu in the first place. Based on her understanding of the teacher during this period, when the teacher was learning medical ninjutsu, he would more or less have the idea of injuring the opponent and healing the opponent with his own hands. Moreover, she also heard that the teacher's medical ninjutsu was stronger than anyone in Konoha now, except for Tsunade-sama. The sword technique of his left hand was used to cut down the enemy, and the medical ninjutsu of his right hand was used to slap himself. Isn't this a perpetual motion machine that will never get hurt? After understanding the importance of medical ninjutsu, Xi'an wanted to get out of bed last night and become a disciple, but unfortunately her mother restricted her. Thinking of this, Mao Yu Xi'an couldn't suppress her excitement. She took two steps forward. After blinking her big eyes for a few times, a thousand words were instantly stuck in her throat and she couldn't say a word. Okay, okay, I got it. Asuka looked at Xi'an's hopeful eyes, then looked down at the remaining half of the egg slices in the bowl, and said seriously. Medical ninja and combat ninja are two different paths. Now that you have made up your mind, you must be prepared to endure hardship. Yes. Come over to make breakfast at 5 o'clock tomorrow. I don't want to eat egg slices. Yes. Then let go of my arm and stop shaking it. Yes. Seeing that the other party agreed so simply, Finiao stretched out his hand to pick his nose and looked up at the ceiling. Did you have a hard time today, which is why you are still dreaming now? In less than an hour, he actually accepted a disciple. Well, with a subtle sigh, Finiao walked on the streets of the tribe, stroking his greasy belly. Most of his morning energy disappeared in an instant. Although there are eight pack abs on the belly, there is no excess fat, and no matter how you look at it, it is not greasy. But the egg slices in the morning were too oily. He now felt like his stomach was like a frying pan, with gastric juices boiling oil and water, frantically frying the rest of the food. Good morning, Asuka-sama. Morning. Hey, little flying bird, would you like some cucumber? Judging from the oily look on your face, you must have eaten too much oil and water recently. Auntie, the cucumbers here today are very thick. I'll give them to you cheaper. This is sweat, this is sweat from morning exercise. Also, the cucumbers you have here don't look like they grew naturally, but they look like they have been soaked in water too much, making them fat. After a while, I will give the clan leader an idea to organize a blind date within the clan. My aunt is tired from tinkering with cucumbers every morning. Quote. Brother Finiao, do you want some candy? There's your saliva on the candy, so lick it clean. Finished licking. There is still saliva on it, put it in your mouth and lick it. Finished licking. Obviously there are still more. 
Seeing Asuka teasing the child like a fool, Shi Yan, who was following him, rolled her eyes subconsciously. This instructor was different from the Uchiha she had imagined, who was as cold as ice, kept away from strangers, and avoided acquaintances. Not to mention that the teacher's appearance was on the perfect score line in the village, and even his temper was also on the perfect score line in the village. Almost more like a normal person than a normal person. With a height of 1.8 meters, she can be said to be a very tall person in the entire Konoha village. However, her current height is 165, which is 170 if rounded. The gap between 175 and 180 should be negligible. After calculating that she was almost the same size as her teacher, Woyuki Shien breathed a sigh of relief. The last bit of oppression that Asuka had in her heart was completely eliminated by her rounding method. Looking at the casual clothes on the other party, a heartfelt smile appeared on his face, as well as the tooth stained with blood in his hand. It does seem a bit unuchiha. I don't know who gave the teacher the code name, Black. It's simply a slur. Tisk, tisk, I just said that children can't eat sweets. They'll eat their teeth. Seeing the child who was about to cry, he quickly summoned a family bucket and stuffed it into the little kid's arms, and sighed. I didn't do anything this morning, so I lost a share of the family bucket. Seeing this, Mao Yuxian raised the corners of her mouth, narrowed her eyes into a crescent shape, and smiled. Teacher, you are really different from them. Asuka stood up and stretched his thighs, turned his head and glanced at Shi Yan who was snickering, and explained. It's actually nothing different. Uchiha people are just like ordinary people, they can cry, make trouble and laugh. But when they lose something, the smile on their face gradually becomes less and less. Half of the smile on ordinary people's faces will be lost when they become genin, the other half will be lost when they become chunin, and they will almost lose the ability to smile when they become junin. What about you, teacher? Sheehan looked at Asuka with some curiosity. After searching through her memory, she found that it was indeed as her teacher said. The stronger the Uchiha people were, the less smiles they had on their faces. But haven't all his teachers become Junin? Why is his personality so different among the Uchiha tribe? Me. Finiao looked around at the clan members coming and going, and quietly lowered his voice. Mainly because of numbness. When I first went to the battlefield, you and I were numbed. Densely packed corpses fell on the plain in various postures. Flies were flying all over the sky. I was even assigned the job of a corpse collection team. Later, I saw familiar companions die on the battlefield one after another. Although my strength was not improved, my thoughts were sublimated. Commonly known as, live to understand. Quote. Question mark question mark question mark. Mao Yuxian looked at Finiao blankly. She opened her mouth and wanted to say something, but she didn't know what to say. Hearing what the teacher meant, was it his first time on the battlefield that he was timid? Then as I saw too many scenes, my whole person became numb. Finally the numbness passed and the whole person developed in another direction. After thinking that the strong men of the Uchiha clan were said to be mentally abnormal in the village, she looked at her super normal teacher and couldn't help but fall into deep thought. Do you believe in the legend that has been circulating in the village for decades, or do you believe in the teacher's words? Don't be in a daze, I'll take you to have a long experience. Finiao waved to Shi Yan behind him, then turned and walked towards the square in the center of the clan. Coming. After responding, she jogged two steps and followed closely behind Asuka. I don't know what the teacher meant by taking me on a long journey to see something. When she arrived at the center of the Uchiha clan's territory, she froze on the spot. Looking in front of me, there are three huge statues standing in the center of this wide and spectacular square. She knew the statue in the middle, it was the Uchiha clan emblem. The statue on the right side of the family emblem is a round fan. What's that on the left side of the clan emblem? Looking at the statue that looked like a god of war and the Sharingan in the statue's eyes, Xi'an ran two steps to catch up with Asuka, panting. Teacher, what is that tall god of war? Mars. Asuka blinked in confusion, then followed her finger to look at the statue on the far left, and said suddenly. Oh, you said that. That was an important force in the fight between Uchiha and the Senju clan during the Warring States period. Some Uchiha tribesmen who are strong enough can fight blindly and forcibly materialize huge chakra to form a burly god of war to fight. Quote. 
Then teacher, can you do that? Cannot. Asuka shook his head decisively, even if he could use it, he would not use it easily. Don't ask, just ask because he has no brothers and is prone to blindness. There is a saying that the reason why those senior time travelers want to travel and become the Uchiha clan, the factor of opening Susanna accounts for at least 70%. Gone. Waving to call Xian, who was running around, Finiao led her straight to the northeast corner of the square, where she stopped at the door of a somewhat old-style house. This is. Looking up at the house, which seemed to be older than her grandfather, her eyes fell on Asuka, her eyes full of doubts. This is the clan school of the Uchiha clan. Before the establishment of the ninja school, the children of the clan would learn ninjutsu knowledge here. Later, the second generation Hokage established a ninja school. When the children reach the age of 18, they will go to the ninja school to receive training from the village. Those children who are not old enough to enter the ninja school will still come here to receive some knowledge and teach them and cultivate their sense of belonging to the family. For example, the history, glory, etc. of the Uchiha clan. Quote. Teacher, do you still teach ethnology? Temporary replacement for a period of time. The old man who teaches cultural classes in the tribe got violently violent two days ago. He was dizzy and could not stand upright. After being laughed at by the elder, the two of them started fighting. He is now lying in the hospital. Quote. After saying that, Finiao opened the door and sat on the podium with Xi'an, quietly waiting for the arrival of the children from the clan. He took out his copy of, Detailed Explanation of the Ninja School Fire Will Course, and put it on the table. This book was originally a gift package given to me by the system. It contains notes and experiences from various teachers in the ninja school. If you memorize it, you will completely escape Donzo's prying eyes. In other words, anyone who memorizes this book will enter the eyes of Sarutobi Hirazan and make a name for himself. However, who endorses it so early in the morning? After flipping through it a few times, Finiao threw the book aside. After studying for so many years in his previous life, morning reading and morning running were simply anti-human. He was so sleepy that he refused to talk and had to carry a bunch of things on his morning run. This thing is simply torture. After the children finished clocking in the classroom, Finiao looked at the time, stood up and said. It's not even 7 o'clock yet, come with me. After speaking, he opened the classroom door and led a group of children to the three stone monuments in the center of the square. Breathing the fresh air outside, Finiao turned to look at the old ethnic studies classroom, and Finiao muttered with some dissatisfaction. Has the patriarch embezzled all the money? This classroom has been in use for more than 50 years, and there is a musty smell when you enter it. Teacher Asuka, do you still have that chicken? Chicken. Seeing the look of expectation in the eyes of these Uchiha children, Azuki Shian looked at her teacher with some confusion and asked. What chicken? As soon as she finished speaking, she saw Finiao make a few marks with his hands and slap them on the ground, and a burst of white mist instantly appeared in front of her eyes. After the smoke cleared, they suddenly saw more than 20 portions of fried chicken on the ground. At this time, he saw the teacher hand one of the buckets to him and asked. Shi Yan, want one? No, no. Mao Yu Xian waved her hands quickly, her face instantly turned a little pale. Looking at the familiar red paper tube and white lid, she felt her butt tighten and she subconsciously took two steps back. She hasn't touched fried food since the last time she ate this. Nausea and nausea and wanting to go to the toilet. Snapped. Snapped. Asuka clapped his hands, attracted the attention of these three and four-year-old children, and then began to preach. Last time, I have told you the history of Konoha's village establishment and the origin of its name. Today I plan to explain to you the spiritual core of Konoha, which is the legendary will of fire. You are eating and listening to what I am saying. Quote. In this era of lack of entertainment for children, there is nothing better than listening to stories. The knowledge in textbooks is so boring that adults don't like to learn it, let alone children. Then, Finiao picked up a piece of chicken, took two bites and said. The will of fire can be traced back to its source, which can also be said to be the will of Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara. Before the establishment of the village in Konoha, there was no such thing as the will of fire. Since the two became friends, Senju Hashirama proposed to build a village to protect the children and keep them away from the war. 
Madara Uchiha felt that this could better protect his children, so he agreed with the other party's statement. Therefore, Konoha's will of fire can be simply summarized as protecting future generations. Quote. Hem, hem. These children were eating with their mouths full of oil while listening carefully to Asuka's talk about the will of fire. Since people in the ninja world are a bit precocious, although they can't quite understand the deep meaning of what the teacher said, they can still understand the superficial meaning. Later, as the situation developed, the will of fire gradually changed, but it never departed from the core of protecting future generations. As he said that, he saw the lonely figure of Itachi Uchiha appearing at the other end of the square, as if waiting for someone. I heard that this guy has been a bit out of touch since he was two years old. He stopped playing with children of the same age at the age of three. At the age of four, he started following his father on the battlefield and thinking about the meaning of life. Really premature. When he was four years old, he played ninja battle with other kids of the same age. Young Patriarch. Asuka waved at Itachi Uchiha and shouted when he saw him looking up at her. Young Patriarch, what is your will of fire? Hearing this, a look of surprise flashed in Uchiha Itachi's eyes. He looked at Asuka with a smile on his face, lowered his head and pondered for a moment, and then told him the knowledge he read in the book. Wherever the leaves are flying, the fire will continue to grow. The fire will continue to illuminate the village and make new leaves sprout. Come on, let's play for a while. How old are you that you want to burn yourself? You really want to burn us? Close black lens bracket. Asuka waved his hand in disgust, then looked down at the group of children and said in a low voice. That's an idiot. Ignore him. What he just said was the third generation's will of fire. It has nothing to do with us. Brother Asuka. At this time, suddenly a milky sound came from the crowd, and a little girl stood up, twirled her fingers, and muttered. But I heard my brother say that his will of fire is also this. No no. Asuka shook his head, looking in the direction of Canopy Bridge intentionally or unintentionally, and continued. The third generation's will of fire is his will of fire, not your will of fire, nor Uchiha Madara's will of fire. Each of us must have our own will of fire. Quote. Question mark question mark question mark. At this time, not only the children didn't understand, but also Mao Yuxian, who was eavesdropping next to her, didn't understand. Does the will of fire thing still matter? So what is the will of fire promoted by the third generation in the ninja school graduation speech? Well, Asuka sighed softly, then put his hands behind his back, looked at the group of people with a serious face, and said seriously. Uchiha Madara's will of fire, you can understand it is the will of fire that rules the ninja world. He once wanted to rely on force to unify the ninja world and win a permanent peaceful environment for future generations. You can understand Senju Hashirama's will of fire is the will of fire that balances the ninja world. He once wanted to try to balance the military strength between the villages by distributing tailed beasts, so that the major ninja villages would be wary of each other and no longer have wars. You can understand the will of fire in Senju Tobarama as the will of fire that makes Konoha great again. He established a ninja school, developed ninjutsu, weakened the family, and other measures in order to unite Konoha's internal forces and once again become the number one village that suppresses the ninja world and protect future generations from the flames of war. The third Hokage and the fourth Hokage are still alive, so let's not talk about it for now. In fact, I personally agree with Uchiha Madara. Unification can bring long-term peace. Quote. Brother Asuka, what is our will of fire? Looking at the little boy who just spoke, Asuka shrugged and said casually. We Uchiha are the founders of the will of fire. As long as it does not break away from the core of protecting future generations, your will of fire can be of various kinds. Your will of fire can be absolute. In order to eliminate possible threats, you will do whatever it takes. This is what a certain elder of Konoha does. However, he has more selfish desires and is not very pure in his will. Sooner or later he will die suddenly. You, the will of fire, can also be lazy. You can work hard at work and focus on fishing after work. Just do your own thing well during work. It can be said that the laziest people get the most leisurely ending, but it cannot be denied that such people are also doing their part to protect future generations. Your will of fire can also be benevolent and righteous, just like White Fang. 
When faced with companions and tasks, he finally chose his companions. Therefore, you don't need to force anyone's will of fire into your body. If you feel that the will of fire you currently have does not suit your needs and makes you feel troubled, then go look at other people's will of fire and learn from it. Our original purpose of learning the will of fire is to protect our descendants, and not to send all our kin and descendants to the pure land because of some people's decisions. Look at the companions around you. These are the people you want to protect by learning the will of fire. He who sacrifices his small family for the sake of everyone is a saint. Killing the whole family for everyone's sake, that is the great sage. Killing the entire clan and digging up ancestral graves for everyone is an idiot. Quote. After intentionally or unintentionally glancing at Itachi who was leaving with Uchiha Shisui, Asuka sneered in his heart. From now on, he will instill something into the younger members of the clan. Lest there be any more 25-year-olds among these little guys in the future. By the way, I have to instill some anti-moral kidnapping and anti-love topics into these little guys. The Hokage always makes excuses for others' lack of love. After a while, we will educate them about the issue of, should the patriarch get a divorce? Education is a top priority, and it must start from childhood. Finiao looked down at these ignorant children, twitched the corner of his mouth slightly, and decided to educate them in another way. Then, he was seen raising his hands and shouting. Idiots don't have a family bucket. In an instant, the group of children below who were still at a loss all became excited. They held up the chicken wings in their hands and shouted in a sweet voice. Family bucket. Family bucket. Idiots don't have a family bucket. Family bucket. Family bucket. If the patriarch divorces, the whole family will suffer. Family bucket. Family bucket. After all, there are places that the light of day cannot reach. Such as underground. In an underground cave in the kingdom of grass, candlelight was inserted on the stone wall next to it, bringing a ray of light to this dark cave. Madara-sama. Why did you wake me up this time? A low and old voice sounded in the cave. Lord Madara, there is news about you again this time. Call. After taking a deep breath, Madara slowly opened his eyes. His eyes moved for a long time before he received the information from Baiju. It takes longer and longer each time to wake up, and I don't know when I fall asleep and never wake up again. Do you have more than four months left to live? He looked down at the information in his hand. Um. Madara blinked in disbelief until the Sharingan rolled around in his eye sockets a few times before he looked at the note again. Do you say that I come to the ninja world and hope for eternal peace? Ha, 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 it's a pity that Hashirama doesn't agree with me. He has always insisted on holding on to the village. Cough, cough. After laughing wildly, Uchiha Madara coughed violently. He clutched the information with one hand and looked deeply at the place where Konoha was. If that idiot Hashirama saw the current ninja world and Konoha now, I don't know if he would agree with my idea. Close black lens bracket. Flattening and folding the note in his hand, he looked at the smiling Uzumaki by Zetsu in front of him and ordered. Collect information on Uchiha Asuka. Huh. Uzumaki by Zetsu scratched his head and said a little puzzled. Didn't we collect candidates when we were looking for someone to replace Madara-sama and walk in the ninja world after he left? Madara-sama said that he was the disgrace of Uchiha, so he burned that person's information. Quote. Question mark question mark question mark. Uchiha Madara tilted his head and glanced at Uzumaki White Zetsu, a look of confusion showing on his face that had been expressionless for a long time. How could such an Uchiha who had such an appetite for him not fall in love with him in the first place? Did Hashirama's cell make his head as stupid as Hashirama's? Just when Uchiha Madara suspected that there was something wrong with the cells, he saw a white Zetsu appear on the ground next to him again, with a high-pitched voice. Madara-sama, don't worry about that idiot. When we were collecting information, Uchiha Asuka was practicing medical ninjutsu. Oh. Having said this, Madara suddenly remembered. That guy seems to be the only fighting Junin and medical Junin in the Uchiha family. With that extra energy, the Mangeku Sharingan has long been opened. Then, he was seen looking at Konoha with a gloomy expression, and his tone suddenly turned cold. I just said that I couldn't be influenced by that idiot Hashirama. Lady. Um. I think. What are you thinking about? Miss you. Nara Yoshino was stunned for a moment. 
Looking at Asuka's serious expression, she seemed to understand something. After hesitating for a while, she refused. No, if Shikaku finds out about this, he will be beaten. If you don't tell me, if I don't tell him, he won't know. There is no airtight wall in the world. Just satisfy me, please. Asuka clasped his hands together and looked at the wife of the head of the Nara clan with a sincere face. No. Seeing that the other party shook his head to reject him again, Finiao took a step back, with a look of determination on his face, as if he had made a very important decision in his heart, and gritted his teeth. Three times. Just three times. Three times. Nara Yoshino held his chin with one hand, secretly observed Asuka's strong body, sighed and shook his head, then raised five fingers and bargained. Three times is a bit too little, five times. If you agree, I will do it. Quote. Okay. After thinking for a while, Finiao nodded, agreeing to the other party's request. Give it to you. Nara Yoshino took out a large package from the counter and handed it to Asuka. She patted the package in her hand and looked at Asuka curiously. The Nara clan has raised deer for Konoha for generations. Deer antlers are a precious medicinal material, and their achievements in medicine are unrivaled. They provide most of Konoha medicinal materials and medicines. Ordinary people and ninjas who want to buy medicinal materials and medicines usually choose them. As soon as she walked to the door of the store today, she saw Uchiha Asuka and the clerk bargaining fiercely there. Then she pushed the clerk away and discussed the price of the medicine with him in person. Asuka kun, what do you need these basic medicinal materials for? Does anyone in your Uchiha family want to be a medical ninja? No. Finiao carried the medicinal materials behind his back and curled his lips. This morning I accepted an apprentice who wants to study medicine. She just graduated from the ninja school. Her face is even cleaner than Mrs. Kabuto's. Wow. Yoshino opened his mouth slightly and looked at Asuka exaggeratedly, then gave him a thumbs up and praised him. Asuka kun, you are really good at talking. Since you think I'm so good at talking, can you do three medical examinations? No, we agreed five times. After all, you got these medicinal materials at a 20% discount. What's the difference between this and giving them away for free? Ha. Asuka's mouth twitched. If it weren't for those profiteers in Konoha, when would he have negotiated the price of anything he bought? He wanted to defect at first, sold everything he could, and used all his savings to buy some weapons from Granny Cat. Then when he decided not to defect and asked Granny Cat to recycle those weapons, the old guy just slashed him with a dragon-slaying knife. After a moment, the assets instantly shrank by one-third. When he redeemed the items one by one, the profiteers turned his ordinary kitchen knife into a thunder knife, and the whetstone turned into a disaster stone. If his identity as a ninja hadn't restricted him. Asuka kun, I wonder how your investigation went. Yoshino's voice brought Asuka back from his memories, and he pointed at the calendar on the wall behind him and said helplessly. Madam, it's only been one day. Yeah, I thought it had been a long time, but it turns out that only one day has passed, so you have to work hard. Quote. New. With that said, Asuka waved his hand and left the Nara family's medicine shop. When he took the medicinal materials just now, he quietly explored the other party. He now had a rough judgment on Shikamaru's birth time. September. With the speed at which children in Naruto mature, he might be able to become Shikamaru's friend with the help of a lollipop by February next year. Wrong. Thinking of Tsunade who grew older in one year as Shizune said, Asuka moved the time forward a little further. With Shikamaru's genius brain, he might be able to recognize people in one month, read words in two months, and make friends in three months. Night. Nara clan land. Asuka, dressed in black, dodged the patrolling ninjas with ease and arrived at Ryoko Nara's room. Who? As soon as he finished speaking, Ryoko looked at Asuka who had taken off his mask, quickly stood up and took his arm, speaking in an urgent tone. You finally came. Not urgent. After Asuka comforted the other party, he looked at her anxious look and continued. The last time I came here, I was discovered by the Nara clan members patrolling outside, and then your clan leader's wife suspected that you were having an affair with me. Oh. Hearing this, Liangzi also had a look of surprise on her face. She also wondered why Yoshino secretly asked her if she had a man last time when she came to her home. What a bully. Just after her husband passed away, 
she suspected that she was looking for another man. She was so angry that she kicked the patriarch's wife out with a broom. It turns out that this is the crux. After looking at the flying bird with her slender eyes, she seemed to have made up her mind and said seriously. As long as my son is cured, I don't care whether its rumors are true. I care. After saying that, Asuka followed her out of the room to the first floor. He didn't want Danzo to know that he was interested in getting close to the root members, and he didn't want to be known as, seduce a widow in the middle of the night. The key is that this widow also has a son, and he is not very good looking. Frankly speaking, not everyone can treat other people's sons like their own like Ba Sao. Only with a pattern can great things be achieved. He felt that with his pattern, he might just be a village chief in this life. Looking at the moonlight shining into the room through the window, Asuka thought of Kegaya Otsutsuki who lived there. Although that guy had a son, his son died. The only one who survived was still helping Uchiha Madara. I just don't know if Uchiha Fugaku marries Hinata's woman, will the descendants have atavism? Asuka found the blind spot and decided to make a suggestion next time. After today's treatment was over, in order to prevent their shadows from being reflected on the window again, Asuka sat down against the wall. Actually, there's nothing difficult about this matter. Just confess it to Yoshino. Leongzi looked at the moon outside the window, with a rare look of relief on her face. Just now she discovered that her son's condition had really improved. After about seven or eight treatments, he should be able to move like a normal person. Thinking of this, she looked at Asuka gratefully and said in a relaxed tone. Sister-in-law Yoshino is very reasonable. She will definitely not say anything when she learns that you are here to treat your nephew. Now I know to call her sister-in-law. Just now you were cursing and spreading rumors. Besides, this matter is mainly about you, sir. Quote. Asuka rolled her eyes at Ryoko. If Danzo was an idiot, he wouldn't have to worry so much. The key point is that the old guy is just bad, not stupid. He has many bad intentions. When the time comes, as long as he realizes that there may be any problems between himself and Leonzi, he will inevitably not follow the clues and clean up the roots. What should we do? Hearing this, Asuka stood up patted the dust on his butt, and spoke. Actually, I think the marriage between the Uchiha clan and the Nara clan is not bad. After all, the Uchiha clan members don't use their brains. This is a flaw. So, she looked at Asuka with a confused look on her face, and now she had no idea what this guy was talking about. No, this guy really wants to marry me. Although it's not impossible, and I'm not unwilling, it's too sudden. At this time, Finiao turned around and looked in the direction of the clan, his eyes seemed to be able to see through many obstacles, staring straight at a certain house, and said. For the bright future of the clan, it is better to sacrifice the clan leader. Ryoko Nara blinked, and then the blank look on her face was replaced by a look of horror. She covered her mouth with both hands and looked at the other person in disbelief. Is this guy planning to kill the clan leader? Are you going to use this incident to calm down our trivial matter? It doesn't have to be like this, right? Don't think blindly. Looking down at the frightened expression on her face, Asuka stretched out and lost his breath. I plan to blame the clan leader on this matter, and I didn't say that there can only be one marriage partner. I, the Uchiha divorce faction, took the initiative to help the clan leader find a beautiful woman. I was so considerate of the clan members that he couldn't find her even with a lantern. When Danzo asks why your son's condition has improved, you can just say that this is my sincerity in helping the clan leader propose marriage, while you are submissive on the surface and a chaste and martyr secretly, don't you just want to never get married in this life? The perfect solution. Quote. Hearing this, Ryoko Nara breathed a sigh of relief in her heart. She really thought that the Uchiha clan leader was going to die, but she didn't expect this to be the case. According to what the other party said, it seems good. He could also refute it to the outside world. It was the Uchiha tribesman who was pestering him and wanted him to marry Fugaku, but for the sake of his son, he had a rather vague attitude. After his son recovered from his illness, he turned against him and refused to recognize him. Um. But. Ryoko Nara glanced at Asuka worriedly, and she said hesitantly. You, you. Your clan leader won't beat you to death. Beat me to death. Finiao raised his eyebrows, pointed at his nose, then pointed in the direction of the tribe, and said calmly. 
Unless he really flies the Gundam blindly, it's not certain who will hit whom. Moreover, there were so many radicals in the clan and he didn't say anything, so why should he hit me? At the last clan meeting, a certain radical wanted to kill those Konoha elders who had a bad attitude towards Uchiha. Quote. Ha, ha. Ryoko Nara looked at Asuka speechlessly. She had only known that there were many people with mental problems in the Uchiha family, but she did not expect them to be so extreme. He also wants to kill the elders of Konoha. From the looks of it, the man in front of him looks like one of the rare normal people in the Uchiha clan. When she thought that this person was sent by Nara Yoshino to investigate her, her face immediately darkened. She turned to look at the center of the clan again and cursed. Nara Yoshino, you actually asked someone to investigate me. The next day, Asuka was not awakened by the pressure this time. He covered his head with a pillow and closed his eyes tightly, intending to rest for a while. He was very tired last night. Clang. 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 Wipe. 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 The sound of chopping vegetables and the sound of shovels hitting pots kept coming from the kitchen. Snapped. There was also the sound of a bowl breaking. Finiao took away the pillow, walked to the kitchen in a daze, looked at Shi Yan who was busy inside, and said vaguely. Actually, just get up early and help me make some instant noodles. No. Uiyu Shian wiped the sweat from her forehead and decisively rejected Asuka. Asuka leaned against the wall and yawned. After twitching his nose, he smelled the fragrance in the air and said with a satisfied expression. Thank you for your hard work, what's for breakfast today? I seem to smell tomatoes and eggs. Scrambled eggs with tomatoes. Quote. She looked at the tomatoes in the pot that could no longer maintain their lumpy shape and turned into pieces, and she fell silent for a moment. I originally wanted to make scrambled eggs with tomatoes, but I don't know why the tomatoes turned into a paste. After a while, she flipped the shovel twice with a somewhat insignificant tone. Tomato flavored egg soup. That's right. I haven't had soup in the morning for a long time. I'll go wash up first and take you to do your tasks after eating. With that said, Asuka turned around and left the kitchen. Is there any difference between tomato and egg soup and tomato scrambled eggs? One soup is thick and the other is thin. Um. After Asuka finished washing up and saw the tomato and egg soup on the table, he instantly became silent. Why can't he see tomatoes in this soup? After scooping it up a few times with a spoon, he took a sip of the soup and praised it without thinking. Sheehan, you are really meticulous in what you do. The tomatoes were actually beaten with a juicer. When I made this before, I always cut the tomatoes into cubes and stir-fried them casually. Quote. Really delicious. Uh-huh. Asuka nodded. As long as the food is cooked for him, no matter whether it tastes good or not, he will always say it is delicious. It's always right to praise more. Just a little sweet. Konoha Village, in the park. Asuka walked slowly on the path to eat while explaining today's tasks to the three students behind. Today, the task you have to do is not difficult, it is a D-level character investigation task. A villager and his girlfriend were about to get married. He suddenly felt that his girlfriend's behavior was abnormal recently and wanted us to help him investigate her character to see if she was suitable for marriage. Quote. The character investigation mission will test your tracking ability, intelligence gathering ability, and interrogation ability. Before he finished speaking, Uruka suddenly raised his hand and said in confusion. Teacher, what does torture ability mean? This. Asuka pondered for a moment, then nodded in the direction of the police prison and explained. The ability to torture is to ask the answer you want from the mouth of the torture subject. Great memory restoration technique is a ninjutsu often used in torture, and it is also a relatively simple ninjutsu. Quote. Uoyuki Shian searched through her memory, but she couldn't find what level of ninjutsu that great memory restoration technique was. When she heard the name, it sounded very high-end. Grade A. Then, she asked the questions in her mind. Teacher, what is the great memory restoration technique? Great memory restoration technique. Asuka stopped and turned to look at the three of them. After organizing the words in his mind, he explained. Its advanced expression is, secret heart turning technique, which is the secret ninjutsu of the Yamazaka clan. Its low-level expression is taijutsu, yes, it's the taijutsu you train in daily. So. At this time, several black lines appeared on Hinata Wawa's forehead. 
She looked at her teacher with white eyes and said coldly. The so-called torture means literally beating the other person up. You can say that. Asuka nodded, then he took out a scroll from his arms, unfolded it and read. Randomly beat the villagers, detain them for 20 days, find them 100,000 yuan, bear the villagers, medical expenses themselves, and prohibit them from accepting tasks in any form for three months. Don't beat the villagers at will. If you give in and the other party sues the Hokage afterwards, you will be in trouble. When the teacher met some irritating, he always hit them with answers. Even if the other party finally reported it to the Hokage, the third generation could not say anything wrong about me. Quote. Okay, I've told you the secret to completing the mission. Handing the task book to the three of them, Finiao clapped his hands and gave instructions. Disperse. Aha. Uh -huh. As soon as they finished speaking, the three of them looked at each other, jumped to the tree next to them, and ran towards the village. Watching the people leaving, Finiao put his hands behind his back and looked at the white clouds in the sky with a nostalgic look. When he was doing this kind of mission, when he met some men and women who had betrayed their families, he would first collect evidence, then carry the evidence in his pocket, and then interrogate those people. Generally, people like this have a lot of luck. Then it's time to use the big memory recovery technique. With his superb medical ninjutsu and powerful memory recovery skills, doing this kind of task is like eating iced watermelon on a sultry summer day. Cool. Thinking of this, he lay on a chair in the park, took out the medical book from his bag, and started flipping through it slowly. As his medical ninjutsu gets closer to the ceiling of this world, Asuka becomes more and more curious about Tsunade's secrets. In the photo of her when she was a child, she was clearly straighter than a coffin board, but she had undergone such a big change in a short period of time. Although his level of medical ninjutsu is a little worse than Tsunade's, it's not that far behind. There must be some big secret here. If you find out this secret by yourself, it will be like picking up money from a sack. At this time, Yuazuki Shien, Hinata Wawa, and Aruka have arrived at the mission location. The task in their hands is not difficult. The employer who posted the task has already provided his girlfriend's daily travel time. All they need to do is track, record, and interrogate. This task can be done with your eyes closed. Wawa, don't get lost. No. After looking at Hinata's cold expression and the thick blood vessels near her eye sockets, Azuki Shien knew that she had opened her by a kugan, then turned her head to look at Uruka and whispered. Uruka, you go to the bathhouse that the mission target often goes to one step ahead. If the mission target is going there today, then just book the bathroom next to her and wait for us to go there. Clear. With that said, Uruka left the team and came to the bathhouse first. As time passed, he soon waited for the mission target to come to this bathhouse carrying toiletries. Um. Alone. After seeing the other party enter the women's bathroom alone, Uruka frowned instantly. The mission statement said that his girlfriend seemed to be suffering from misophobia recently. She had to go to the bathhouse every morning for several hours, and she also got very close to a stranger. This is also the reason why the other party issued this task to investigate his character. Hello. At this time, Hinata Wawa and Uazuki Shien also ran in from outside. They looked at Uruka who was standing there in a daze, and walked forward and asked in a low voice. She's in that mixed bath. No. Uruka shook his head with blank eyes. After pointing inside, he whispered. She entered the women's bath. Female. The two of them blinked, looked at their companions with some confusion, and said in unison. Did you read that correctly? Uruka shook his head. He did see the man lift the curtain of the women's bathroom and go in, which was why he was standing in the hall wandering. At this time, Hinata Wawa suddenly stretched out her fingers and started calculating. The reward for this mission is 5,000 tails in total. After deducting the village's handling fee, we can earn 4,000 tails. The teacher will share 1,000 tails, and each of the three of us will receive 1,000 tails. The entrance fee for the women's bath is 150 tails per person, and 300 tails for two people. Because you can't go in, Uruka, so you have to give me and she and 50 tails per person. Your contribution this time was too little. Even friends must settle accounts clearly to avoid disputes. Quote. Ah. Uruka scratched his head, then with a look of surprise on his face, he took out a hundred tails from his bag and handed them to the two of them, bending down and saying. 
Thanks for your hard work. After the two of them entered the bathroom, Liu Xian looked at the white mist inside, then looked down at the basket containing bath supplies in her hand, and said hesitantly. Is this okay for us? Well, Hinata Wawa waved her hand and said casually. While soaking in the hot springs, do tasks at the same time. Moreover, I feel like I can't complete the task today. His girlfriend came to the women's bathroom and the task book clearly states that she has an unclear relationship with a stranger. That person is most likely a man. Quote. All right. Shi Yan thought about it for a moment and realized that this was also the case. She put down the basket and put her hands on her pants. Just as she was about to take off her clothes, she heard a sound of fighting coming from next door. We'll go to your house when you're okay. Isn't it possible here? After hearing a very rough voice, Hinata Wawa's undressed arms froze in the air. Then she put on her clothes expressionlessly, exuding the aura of being kept away from strangers. Seeing Hinata Wawa pick up the kanai and walk to the side, Azuki Shian frowned. You don't need to get a kanai, right? No. Hinata Flowey held the kanai tightly in her right hand and said coldly. We must not tolerate perverts who break into women's bathrooms. With that said, she opened the door curtain and went directly into the single bathroom next door. Ah. A piercing scream came. After Hinata Wawa looked at the mission target with a towel covering her body expressionlessly, her eyes fell on another person. Um. Woman. No, it's a transformation technique. The Hyuga tribesman who opens the Bayakugan can observe the chakra in the target's body. Looking at the chakra flowing in the opponent's body, Hinata Flowey's expression darkened. This guy is actually a ninja. Who are you? Hearing the mission target ask him, Hinata Wawa looked at the ninja with a wary expression, squeezing the kanai in his hand. I am a ninja hired by your boyfriend to investigate your recent weird behavior. You actually have a boyfriend. At this time, the ninja in the bathroom stood up and looked at the other person in shock. No, don't listen to that girl's nonsense. I'm just your boyfriend. I'll break up with you now. With that said, she stood up and walked to Hinata Flowey and sneered. Now go back and tell your employer that he has no girlfriend from now on and your mission is over. Hinata's eyes twitched, her eyes fell on the mission target, and then she looked at the ninja behind her. After silently mourning for her employer for a while, she shook her head and said. It's not about your employer now, it's about the guy behind you who broke into the women's bathroom without permission. As she spoke, she looked at the ninja behind her who had put on clothes but had not yet released her transformation, and continued. Show me your ID. Personal ID. She turned to look at her male companion and said in surprise. Do you have that thing? Haven't you done it yet? Question mark question mark question mark. Hinata Flowey had a question mark on her head, no ID. Kuroto. No, Ninja Sama, listen to me. Before he could finish his words, the woman gave up immediately. She pointed at Hinata Wawa's nose and shouted. What do you mean by a gangster? Why do you speak so harshly? He wants to apply for a certificate, but you won't let him do it. You say he is from a foreign country and you won't do it if he doesn't have complete information. No no. The ninja quickly waved to Hinata Wawa and said with sweat on his face. What a gangster, ninja sama, you listen to me. You are still a gangster from abroad. Hinata Wawa nodded suddenly, she took out another kanai from her backpack and said seriously. I'm afraid you will be detained and examined by the Konoha Police Department for a period of time. Don't hold me captive. I'm a businessman, and I'm here to do business in Konoha. What are you doing with her ink? The woman pointed at the white-eyed woman in front of her, turned to look at her male partner, and said dissatisfied. You asked her to keep it. Aren't all the gold you secretly brought this time sold out? All the money has been washed away from you, why are you afraid of the police department? Let them check it. Quote. Money laundering. Isn't this guy a good person? You still launder money. Come, follow me to the police department. Seeing Hinata Wawa's increasingly unsightly expression, the guy quickly wiped the sweat from his head and explained. No, no, Ninja Sama, please listen to my explanation. Let's not make trouble with the police department. Why are you so annoying? Why do you explain to her? What are you afraid of her doing? You won't go anywhere, not even to the police department. After interrupting her male partner, she still felt suffocated in her heart. 
Then she pointed at Hinata Wawa's nose, turned and shouted to her male partner. Didn't you say you were a ninja? She is also a ninja, why are you afraid of her? Your country of Sand and Konoha are both among the top five ninja villages. What are you afraid of her doing? Quote. Hinata Wawa looked at the two people inside with a question mark. She rubbed her cheeks that had become stiff due to shock and said doubtfully. Hey, you work in Sunagakar village. No, no, I don't work in Sunagakar village. The guy's face was sweating even more. He and this woman had known each other for many years because of an accident. This time he came to Konoha with the original intention of getting a new identity, but he didn't expect this woman to be here. After seeing the other party, he immediately had an idea in his mind. If he and the other party received a marriage certificate and entered Konoha openly, such an undercover status would be the safest. To be on the safe side, he even revealed his true identity to the other party and forcibly tied her to his ship. After all, they couldn't bear the charge of colluding with ninjas from other villages. And after his own hypnosis, this guy suddenly became a love brain. Too hasty. My own hypnosis was a little too harsh, and my love brain was blown away. What class do you belong to? He is the ninja of Sunagakar village. Is there peace in the shinobi world? He is coming to Konoha this time. Shut up. The man roared angrily and slapped the talkative guy away. Oh shit. It turned out to be a trespassing in the women's bathroom. Now I'm totally exposed. Azuki Shian also picked up the kanai and walked to Hinata Hanahua at this time, looking at the sand ninja with a wary expression. This mission is a bit out of control. It involves a ninja from outside the village, and a sand ninja who sneaked into the village. No matter how you look at it, it doesn't look like a D-class mission. It must be B-level. B-level missions may require ninjas to participate in combat. After recalling the summary of the B-level mission in her mind, Azuki Shian's face darkened and her heart trembled again. She did not relax her vigilance at all just because she was now in Konoha. This place is not in the center of the village. It will take some time for the ninjas in the village to arrive, and those who dare to lurk into the five major ninja villages are at least ninjas above Chunin. The odds of two genin winning against a strong Chunin or above were not very high. Gulu. Azuki Shian swallowed softly. She looked at the guy in front of her. As if facing a formidable enemy, she instantly threw away her kanai, drew out the sword from her waist, and prepared for battle. Well. The sand ninja sighed in his heart, and he slowly took out the kanai. His attention was not focused on the two brats in front of him. Instead, a map of various streets in Konoha emerged in his mind, and he began to plan his escape route. He was so frustrated that he would fight with the Konoha ninja again after his identity was exposed. Boom. Facing the slight pressure brought by that person, Woyuki Shian took the lead to attack. When his body disappeared from the place, a hole instantly appeared on the wooden floor. In the way, he kicked the mission target who had just stood up and flew away, and the long sword with a cold light slashed diagonally at the ninja's shoulder. Clang. The sand ninja raised his left arm and pushed forward, the blade of the sword struck the kanai blade, causing a spark to flash in the air. At this time, Azuki Shian suddenly turned the blade of the sword to the left, slashed the kanai all the way, and slashed the sword across the Suna ninja's neck. You kid, are you very brave? The Suna ninja took a step back, and kanai returned to block on the left side. After receiving the opponent's sword, he raised his leg and kicked Yugao in the face. At this time, Hinata Wawa leaned down, and the Bagua diagram instantly appeared in her eyes. She looked at the kick kicked by the Suna ninja, and the chakra in her body rushed to her right hand quickly. Then she put her five fingers together, aimed at the acupuncture point on the Suna ninja's abdomen, and pushed her right hand forward fiercely. Bagua empty palm. The shock wave instantly flew out of her palm and flew towards the acupuncture point on the sand ninja's abdomen at extremely high speed. After noticing the fluctuations in the air, the sand ninja retracted his legs and flashed, appearing behind Hanata Flowey in an instant. He then raised the kanai in his hand with a ferocious look on his face. He had forgotten that there was a Hanada family here. If he didn't deal with her, the chance of his escape failure today would increase from 99% to 99.99%. Ah. Hearing the shouts coming from behind, the sand ninja paused. 
He glanced behind him and saw a boy in grey clothes holding a kanai in his right hand and holding his right wrist tightly with his left hand, shouting loudly. He screamed and rushed towards him. Has the quality of Konoha's new generation dropped to this level? Looking at the boy rushing towards him with his eyes closed, Suna Ninja grinned. Then he took out the detonating charm from his arms and stuck it on Hinata Wawa's back, and then kicked her towards Uazuki Shian's position. He turned back to Uruka. Idiot. After dodging Uruka's kanai, he raised his hand and swung it down from top to bottom. Puff. Uruka felt his face go numb, and then he felt a sharp pain from his forehead to his chin. The severe pain made him drop his kanai in an instant, cover his face with both hands, and began to cry. Gone. After muttering in his mind, he glanced at the detonating talisman that was about to explode. As if he was afraid that the Hyuga ninja would not die, he took out a few kanai from the package and threw them at the two girls. At this time, Azuki Shian was lying on the floor holding Hinata Wawa, and heard the sound of the detonating talisman burning. They quickly reached their hands behind their backs, trying to tear off the burning detonating talisman. The four arms fought on Hinata Wawa's back for a long time, but they couldn't find where the detonating talisman was. Their eyes instantly turned from panic to despair. If you just become a ninja, do a D-level mission, and die in the village, will this be considered textbook? So frustrating. Hey, are you posting? Hearing a familiar voice coming from her ears, Uiyu Xian quickly turned her head to look to the right and said hurriedly. Teacher, there is a detonating talisman. Boom. As soon as he finished speaking, there was a violent explosion in the bath next to him. Uiyu Xian closed her eyes in an instant and muttered to herself. Did I kill the teacher too? I haven't done high level tasks yet. I haven't experienced love yet. I haven't kissed anyone yet. As she said that, she felt something touching her lips. Um. Uoyuki Shian opened her eyes, and she saw Hinata Wawa suddenly kissing her on the lips, her eyes filled with confusion. Why did you kiss me? Tisk, tisk, you are really sticking to it. After blocking the shock wave of the explosion for the two of them, Asuka stood up rubbed his painful back, and said speechlessly. The shock wave hit my back, it really hurts. After saying that, he glanced at Uruka rolling on the ground and disappeared in the bathtub. No need to look at that guy, the scar on his face remains. Ah, ah. Uruka groaned in pain, instantly breaking the awkward atmosphere in the bathroom. Hinata Wawa wiped her lower lips, and a trace of redness climbed from her cheeks to her forehead. After taking a few deep breaths, she forced down her trembling voice and explained to Chao Xian. You just said you haven't kissed me yet. Then I felt someone pressing my head and pushing it down. That's it. Oh, oh. Xian said dryly, turned her head and looked elsewhere, and said vaguely. We are all girls. Well, it's okay. As she said that, she suddenly thought of the escaped sand ninja, stood up quickly, and said hurriedly. That sand ninja. Do not worry. Hinata Wawa gritted her teeth and pulled out the kanai stuck in her butt. After shaking her body for a moment, she pretended to be calm and said. The teacher will take action. The wound on your back. We are lucky enough. The teacher just dragged our bodies forward for a while. These kanai were originally going to be pierced in the back of the heart and the back of the head, but now they are pierced in the thickest part of the body, which is the best result. Quote. Seeing the worry on Xian's face, Hinata Wawa felt warm in her heart, but her voice remained cold. As a member of the Hyuga branch, I have been prepared for death from the moment I was branded. Flower. Stop sticking it. If you keep sticking it, Uruka will bleed to death. At this time, Asuka walked into the bathroom holding the sand ninja's neck. He looked at the two hugging each other to comfort each other, then looked at the pale Uruka, then stepped towards Uruka, and put his palms against his face. On the top, a burst of green light appeared, and he continued. You go alone and call the Konoha Boundary Club. The teacher will give you some medical expenses. I am coming. A guy with a bandaged head suddenly appeared behind Finiao. He glanced at the clan emblem on Finiao's back and his tone softened for a moment. This time it was our boundary department's negligence in not detecting the suspicious chakra he had. After seeing that Uruka had stopped bleeding, Asuka stood up and looked at the ninja from the barrier class and sighed. Are you, the formation department, a little slack? Feel sorry. He looked at the three of them apologetically and explained. Because the third war is over, 
all the countries in the ninja world have recently sent ninjas to Konoha to sign treaties. They are redeploying manpower everywhere. It is inevitable that there will be some omissions. Okay. Asuka waved his hand, handed the ninja in his hand to the other person, then whispered against the other person's ear. At that time, you can say that your boundary team has actually discovered something suspicious about this person, but due to lack of manpower, you are not sure whether there is a problem with the other party. You decided to follow me for a period of time. Just when you were about to arrest me, you happened to meet me on the road while I was on a mission. You were afraid that you were powerless, so you secretly told me the news and took me to help you arrest me. This suspicious person. I pretended to let the three students perform their tasks normally, just to prevent the ninja who lurked into the village from letting down his guard and accidentally injuring ordinary people. When the time comes, please explain this. With the fourth Hokage's tolerant and kind-hearted personality, your barrier class will not be too unlucky. Quote. Um. The bandaged man looked around and saw that no one was paying attention to him. He nodded and took out a stack of bills from his bag without any hesitation and stuffed it into Asuka's hand. This time it was our fault to buy some fruit for the students. In the final analysis, this matter is still the fault of the formation class, and the solution proposed by the other party does not seem to be harmful to the formation class. His student was also injured. Although it seems that the wound is almost healed now, some compensation is still needed. After taking the stack of notes, Asuka said while treating the injury on Hinata Wawa's back. We will help you take him to the torture department to prevent him from escaping halfway. Thanks for your hard work. Teacher. Hinata Wawa counted the bills in her hand. She looked up at Asuka who was distracted, tugged on his sleeve and whispered. Isn't there something wrong with us charging the money? Hearing this, Finiao's eyes moved down slightly, looking at Wawa who looked a little embarrassed, and comforted him. Think about the scar on your butt, and then think about the scar on Aruka's face. You should feel at ease with this money. After all, it's not our fault, it's the problem of the enchantment class. By doing this, the teacher has minimized the dereliction of duty in the enchantment class. They are all from the same village. They look up but don't look down when we meet. If they don't thank us, they will have to take a detour when they see us in the future. Quote. Walking in front, the leader of the barrier squad escorting Suna Ninja heard the conversation of the four people behind him, and the corner of his mouth twitched slightly. Fortunately, this foreign ninja did not cause too much damage to the village, otherwise they would be in collective misfortune even if they had all kinds of excuses. Everyone in Konoha. At this time, an old man with eyebrows lowered to his chin, a bandage on his head, and a robe suddenly blocked the path of Asuka and others. After he glanced at the captured ninja, his eyes fell on Asuka and the others, and he said kindly. Thank you for helping me find the lost Daisuke. Daisuke has caused trouble for you. Hinata Wawa, who was standing behind Asuka, stuck her head out. She looked at the kind old man in front of her and frowned. This is the Suna ninja, the Suna ninja who lurked into the village. No. The old man shook his head and said in an old voice. He is an entourage who came to Konoha to negotiate with me. He did not sneak into the village. Together. Hinata Floey narrowed her eyes and asked. Old man, who are you? Oh man. He raised his head and glanced at the roof on the east side, then glanced at the people in front of him, his eyes fell on Finiao, and he said with a smile. Outside of Konoha village, others generally call me Ebizo. But in Konoha village, I am the special representative of the Kingdom of Wind, the person in charge of the negotiations between wind and fire, the founder of Sand Hidden Village, a lifelong senior advisor, the main person in charge of the peace faction, and the operator of the Third Ninja World War. Shimura Donzo's soul mate, Serutobi Hirazan's confidant outside the village, and Konoha's Iron Alliance. The second mentor of Sunagakar Village, the second puppet master of Sunagakar Village, the second medical tutor of Sunagakar Village, the omniscient scholar of Sunagakar Village, the protector of the village, and the great guardian of peace. Ebizo. What the hell? After hearing this list of names, Hinata Wawa couldn't help but feel a little confused. She poked the bird with her hand and asked in a low voice. Teacher, who is this old man? He is the younger brother of the puppet master Chio, Ebizo who is mainly responsible for the intelligence spy work of Sunagakar Village. Question mark question mark question mark. After all, isn't it still Ebizo? 
Wouldn't it be over if you just say your name is Ebizo? The number of words is, water. Finiao crossed the crowd and came to the front of the team. He looked at the old man in front of him and said calmly. You know what this is about, and I know what this is about. Ebizo, go and negotiate your settlement. You can negotiate, but you can't negotiate war. When the village held a meeting for the Jonan two days ago, Danzo, the elder of Konoha's main war faction, constantly refuted the fourth Hokage's decision making. When he was about to restart the Ninja World War on his own, the third Hokage suddenly appeared in front of the group. Behind Elder Zhang, he pressed his head on the table. At that time, Elder Danzo glanced in the direction of Sunagakar village with scarlet eyes, and said with hatred on his face. Hiruzen, just hold me down like this, otherwise, I'm afraid I will destroy Sunagakar village. At that time, the atmosphere in the conference room was instantly mobilized, and there was only one decision left before the war started. Quote. Snapped. Danzo Shimura staggered and almost fell off the roof. Then he attached Chakra to his feet and stood on the roof with a calm expression, as if nothing happened. This kid blew me off a bit too far. After looking at Asuka below and the Sunagakar delegation opposite, he waved his hand and gave instructions to the ninja behind him. Don't rush down yet. Master Ebizo, don't talk nonsense to them, just grab them. A female ninja wearing a backless outfit, yellow-green hair, and a sand ninja forehead protector suddenly jumped in front of Ebizo. She looked at the flying bird in front of her, and a fireball suddenly appeared in her palm, and she said coldly. Is this the sincerity of your Konoha negotiations? Are you planning to capture our companion and use him to threaten us in exchange for benefits? Yi Kang. After looking at the fireball in the opponent's hand and the opponent's face, Finiao vaguely guessed who this guy was. The hero Yi Kang. This D-level mission is really troublesome. Uh huh. Looking at the fireball flying towards the members of the barrier class, Asuka frowned, then stood in front of that person and changed the trajectory of the fireball with a flick of his hand, causing it to fly into the sky. Boom. As the fireball exploded and disintegrated in the air, the scorching heat instantly dried the sweat on the faces of the people around them. When the group of Konoha villagers saw ninjas fighting in the street, they turned around and fled. Not bad. Yi Kang licked the kanai in his hand, then teleported in front of Asuka, and the two kanai pierced his eyes directly. He glanced at Ebizo behind Yi Kang, and saw that the old man was standing there blankly. Without any obstruction, Asuka jumped directly into the air, drew out the sword from his waist, and struck down hard. The ninjas in Sunagakar village were blown too much by the strong wind, right? Their heads were blown off. Are you here to negotiate or to fight? Clang. 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 Between the venues, the two of them came and went. The members of the Sunagakar village delegation looked forward in stunned silence. That was their village's, hero, Yekora. Walking on the streets of Konoha, he met a random ninja, and could he fight the hero of their village? Should we say that Konoha is strong, or that the heroes of their village are weak? At this time, Hinata Wawa and the others also stared at Asuka in the battle with their mouths open. They had never heard of Ebizo, but they had heard of the hero Yi Kang. The characters in Sand Hidden Village don't seem to be very strong either. Wrong. Yi Kang's blood succession limit has not been used yet. Art Fire Escape Ho Fireball. Asuka jumped into the air, quickly formed seals with his hands, took a deep breath, chakra gathered in his throat, aimed in the direction of Yi Kang, and spit out a huge fireball from his mouth. Although it is said to be on the edge of the village now, the harm caused by large-scale ninjutsu is still too great. He has no money to pay. After looking at the flames, two fireballs came out of Yi Kang's palm. After spinning in the air, the two fireballs merged into one and instantly turned into an equally huge fireball, which was thrown into the air. Boom. The two fireballs came into contact in the air, and a violent explosion occurred. The powerful heat burned all the water vapor in the surrounding air. The heat wave generated by the explosion blew onto everyone's faces, and it felt like putting a red iron block in front of their faces, evaporating all the moisture on the surface of the skin. Commonly known as, peeling. Not bad. Yi Kang clapped his hands, looked at Asuka with approval, and praised. Your strength is very good. Asuka twitched his lips. He glanced at Danzo standing on the roof from the corner of his eye, and began to think about how to end this unnecessary battle quickly without exposing his strength in front of Danzo's eyes. 
the Sunagakar delegation took action against us because a ninja was captured. Since they value the prisoners so much, as long as their lives are threatened, the prisoners should be let go for the time being. The patriarch is sorry, prepare to pay compensation. Thinking of this, Asuka put the sword back into its scabbard, then jumped up high on the spot, raising his arms into the air. Um. Yi Kang frowned and glanced at Asuka. She just felt that although the opponent was fighting hard on the surface, he didn't use his full strength at all. This. As a scorching ninja, she is very sensitive to, fire. When Asuka raised her hand, she noticed the heat in the air gradually gathering into his palm. Blazing sun. Next moment. Yi Kang's pupils shrank suddenly, looking at the huge fireball made of spiral flames that resembled the sun. The violent light radiated in all directions, and he felt the violent fire element inside. Gulu. After swallowing his saliva, Yi Kang's face instantly turned ugly. This lunatic actually used this level of ninjutsu in his own village. Madman. Dozens of fireballs floated from Yi Kang's palm to the top of his head, and instantly gathered into a huge fireball. Burning escape over steaming kill. The moment two huge fireballs appeared on this land, they ignited half of the sky in Konoha. The thermometers in Konoha village seemed to be on a train, reaching the top directly, and then cracked one after another. Is this the true strength of that Uchiha? Looking at Uchiha Asuka standing in midair, holding the sun in his hand, like a god, a masked ninja swallowed and whispered. Danzo shook his head regretfully. Although the scene in front of him was shocking, there was still some gap between it and the information in his hand. The opponent also has a trick, which is to cover his body with a certain mark, which is said to increase his combat effectiveness exponentially. This is also the source of his code name, Blackening. Unfortunately, after he was promoted to Jonan, there is no detailed data. Although Uchiha is not allowed to go to the battlefield, which reduces the number of people in their family who are open to the public, it also reduces the information in his hands about their combat effectiveness, especially the detailed information about the combat effectiveness of the Uchiha group of Jonan. Boom. Hearing a sudden sound of friction in the air, Danzo subconsciously turned his head to look at the battlefield, his pupils shrinking slightly. These two actually threw the fireball in their hands. This is a village. After seeing the fireball in Asuka's hand, Yi Kang shouted to the people behind him, then threw the fireball out of his hand and began to flee. Her body is not immune to explosions, let alone high temperatures. Um. After Yi Kang took two steps back, the expected explosion did not come. She turned around with some confusion and saw a yellow-haired and blue-eyed Hokage suddenly appeared in the field, wearing a white Hokage with the words, fourth generation Hokage, the guy in the robe. Namikaze Minato. Well. Minato sighed inwardly. He looked down at the blisters on his palms, then turned to look at Danzo who was watching the excitement on the roof, feeling slightly speechless. He shouldn't have agreed to let him come to pick up the case cage delegation in the first place. Ebizo gave him some thin noodles. Hokage-sama. Asuka then landed behind Namikaze Minato and told exactly what happened just now. Only those without strength can reason. Those with strength do not need to reason, but those with strength and strong support behind them can speak the truth with great momentum. At this time, the smiling expression on Asuka's face also disappeared. He looked at the group of Sunagakar with a cold and arrogant face and suggested. Kill it, don't keep it for the new year. Even if you dare to touch someone in the village, you might not want to dig up the ancestral graves of famous people outside. Quote. Minato, you came on time. Danzo also jumped down at this time. He came to Asuka on crutches. After looking at him up and down, his eyes fell on Ebizo and said in an old voice. Haven't seen you for a long time. Um. Ebizo nodded, his face once again filled with kindness. He looked at Danzo and said. I haven't seen you in more than a month. Ebizo, the level of spies you have deployed recently has become increasingly low level, and you are actually exposed to Genin. Both and each other. Recently, the ninja school students of Sunagakar discovered a Konoha spy. When we have time, let's exchange the two sides. By the way, we can also exchange the prisoners during the war. Tisk. At this time, Yi Kang suddenly walked up to Asuka. When she saw the clan emblem on his back, she sneered. Let me tell you, it turns out he is a lunatic from the Uchiha family. No wonder he dared to release S-level ninjutsu in the village. 
You idiot in Sunagakar village, you don't have any sense at all. Half of the reason why Sunagakar doesn't rain is on you. Take my advice and marry the country of rain. The civilians there are quite pitiful. If you throw a few fireballs into the sky every day, in ten years you will definitely become the bodhisattva of the land of rain and be worshipped by the people. Quote. Don't use your words. Follow me to an open place and have another fight. Ha, ha. Asuka looked at Yi Kang with a sneer. A fool, an idiot, a fighting maniac. This guy has so many negative buffs. No wonder he died in Karigakar's hands. Small poor. After sighing in his heart for a while, Asuka turned to look at his three students and lectured. Teacher, I am imparting common sense to you as a ninja. Stay away from fools. Foolish people are lucky. That is survivor bias. Generally fools die early and live miserable lives. Their lives are full of darkness. Your contact with fools will do more harm than good. Don't you Uchiha avoid the person concerned when you say bad things about others? Do you treat the person concerned like dirt? Listening to the cold voice coming from behind, Finiao said directly without thinking. Before Hokage-sama came, you were stunned and arrogant, and after Lord Hokage came, you are still stunned and arrogant. Did the Hokage come here for nothing? Quote. Hearing this, Yi Kang turned his head to look at Minato Namikaze, saw the sunny smile on his face, opened his mouth, and said silently. Hokage-sama, please settle your personal grudges without involving the village. Ah. Namikaze Minato scratched his head. He was just about to persuade him, but then he found that his right hand was firmly grasped by Danzo. Minato, sometimes some sacrifices are inevitable. But, Minato Namikaze said hesitantly after looking at Yi Kang's big feet raised high and looking behind Asuka for a long time. I feel like this sacrifice can be avoided. Her Sunagakar hero, Yekora, is Uchiha Asuka. This is a rare opportunity to test the opponent. I will try hard to Uchiha to collect more information about Yekora. This will have extraordinary influence on certain future actions of the village. Significance. Ninja, learn to sacrifice yourself. Quote. The brief riot did not affect the normal life of the Konoha villagers. Under the scorching sun, the sounds of hawking, haggling, and provocations can be heard on the street. Let's fight it out, Kakashi. Don't want. Kakashi rolled his eyes at Metkai, then moved to the left and said as he walked. Akai, I have entered the Anbu now, and I have to touch some lives on my hands every day. I am not in the mood to compete with you so simply. Then find it back and get back your original intention of competing with me. Hearing this, Kakashi looked up at the sun in the sky, and the dazzling sunlight made him slowly narrow his eyes. The original intention of competing in the first place. When I go to the toilet, you stand on the wall. When I take a shower, you emerge from my bathtub. Even when I sleep, I can feel that there is someone under the bed. Thinking of the years when he was forced to compete by Metkai, he looked at the opponent's burning eyes, pondered for a while, and said helplessly. Rock, paper, scissors, best of five. Kakashi, your fooling guy again. Suddenly, a voice came from behind the two of them. Listening to that familiar voice, Kakashi twitched the corner of his mouth, then revealed a dead fish eye, and looked down at the ants crawling on the ground. This guy is really hard to like. Kakashi, a man who never forgets his youthful aspirations is the most lovable. Kakashi turned to look at Asuka and said lazily. Actually, it doesn't matter if you don't like it. Um. After seeing the female ninja lying on Asuka's back clearly, Kakashi's face hardened, and his whole demeanor changed instantly. Sand ninja. Is she Yi Kang? Why did he become like this? At this time, Yi Kang's body was covered with mud, and big beads of sweat on his forehead were dripping down his cheeks and onto Asuka's clothes. She rested her chin on Asuka's shoulder, breathing in the fresh air. Her arms seemed to be broken, hanging feebly on Asuka's chest. Tisk. Asuka came to the two of them, bumped Yi Kang upwards, then held her thighs with both hands, looked sideways at Metkai, and said breathlessly. Kai, remember, youth has no price, the eight gates can be used in the present. You will definitely win today's competition. Kakashi's face paled when he heard this. He looked at Metkai, who was shaking with excitement, and instantly came to Asuka's side, and quickly changed the subject. Why does Yi Kang appear here? Oh. Asuka's eyes rolled slightly, and after looking at Yi Kang, whose chin rested on his shoulder, he said casually. 
She came to the village to negotiate with Ebizo. This guy took advantage of my distraction and kicked me out for more than 10 meters, and then we started fighting in the forest outside the village. The result of the final test was obvious. I won. I couldn't let her lie there, and I couldn't heal her there, so I had to carry her to the hospital to see a doctor. Quote. Mean. After Yi Kang bit out two words between his teeth, he started breathing heavily again. Hey, who told you that the Junin of the Uchiha family are all fighting types? Hearing this, Yi Kang's eyes widened instantly. She only felt that the air in her lungs was getting less and less. This was actually carrying her on his back now, and his chest was pressing on her back, making it more and more difficult for her to breathe. I'll beat him to death when the injured area heals. Have you become so powerful? No, this guy is too confident in his own strength and doesn't ask for information before competing with others. I cut off some of the muscles in her limbs and the intercoastal muscles on her chest. Now she has trouble breathing, so she has no strength to fight. Quote. With that said, Asuka waved to the two of them, and while walking towards the hospital, he turned his back to Kai and shouted. Kai, youth only lasts for 30,000 days. Every day that passes will be lost. Cherish today. Um. Kai clenched his fists, his eyes seemed to be burning with natural gas. He looked at Asuka's leaving figure, turned to look at Kakashi, and said excitedly. Kakashi, before today's youth is over, let's show off. No. Before he finished speaking, Kakashi noticed that his shoulder was firmly grasped by a big hand, and then his feet left the ground, and there was a whistling sound of wind in his ears. That guy Uchiha Asuka is really hard to like. It always makes Kai so restless. Ha. After Yi Kang heard the movement behind him, he couldn't help but sneered and gasped violently. There are so many perverts in Konoha. That pervert actually wore tights. They were green. Not only do my muscles hurt, but my eyes also hurt. Well, well. Finiao shook his head and sighed. The pervert in your eyes is the ceiling of ordinary ninjas. When all ninjas fall, the liver emperor will stand up, transform into a red beast, and suddenly become a mess. Oh, you may not have heard of his name now, but his father is well known in the ninja world. His father maimed three of the first seven ninja swordsmen in Karigakur village and killed four. Hearing this, Yi Kang's mind instantly thought of a shocking rumor from last year. Sunagakur village and Karigakur village also have a big feud, and they both know some of each other's trump cards. It is said that the first batch of the seven ninja swordsmen were left to their Sunagakur village. But they didn't expect that just a few days after leaving the village, the seven of them were beaten and disabled by a Konoha ninja when they were planning to promote the cruelty of Karigakur ninjas. 8 Gate Dunjia. Matt Dai. So you know. Um. After saying yes, Yi Kang lay on Asuka's back and fell into rare silence. Konoha is like a blessing from heaven. In times of crisis, a bunch of perverted ninjas will always emerge. As for Sunagakur, not only were they financially restricted by the daimyo, but even in terms of military force, they were on the same level as Konoha, not to mention the perverted ninjas. This time she escorted Ebizo to sign the negotiation agreement. On the way, Ebizo revealed some of the contents of the negotiation. To sum up, we can't defeat Konoha, and the bottom line of Sunagakur village's negotiations is very flexible. Hey, can you tell me about Konoha? Seeing Yi Kang, who had been silent for a long time, suddenly say this, Asuka's steps returned to normal after a pause. He thought that this place was still some distance from the hospital, so he spoke. What do you want to hear? No, I don't know. Yi Kang shook her head. She looked at Konoha, a street that was several times busier than the busiest street in Sunagakur, feeling a little disappointed. Let's talk about you first. I have nothing to say. When you were fighting me, you should have kept a lot of cards in your sleeve. I remember that Uchiha's Sharingan can copy any ninjutsu. There is no way you can't master a ninjutsu as powerful as the Eight Gate Dungeon. Quote. Hey, Uchiha is not as powerful as you think. There is also a limit on copying. I can only open the first of the eight doors. And the promotion conditions for that ninjutsu are too difficult. 1. Stay up late and practice very hard. 2. Wear tight-fitting clothing that won't bulge. 3. Have the determination and belief not to be afraid of making a fool of yourself. 4. You must have a father who can open eight doors. If one of these four is missing, you won't be able to open eight doors. Quote. After saying that, 
Finiao smelled the light lavender fragrance in the air, and his eyes couldn't help but wander. I don't know why those senior time travelers chose the eight skills. That thing is so difficult to practice. As night fell, Asuka once again appeared in the Nara clan. How long will it take for my son to become a normal person? Hearing Nara Ryoko's urgent voice in his ears, Asuka looked down at the sleeping child on the bed, thought for a moment, and said. Next, after six treatments, your son will be like a normal person, but he will have to be observed later. If Tsunade returns to the village, you can pay to see her. Liangzi looked at her son who had no blood on his face and said with some distress. Tsunade-sama has never been back to the village since my son was born. Don't worry, that guy has almost lost all his money. He will probably come back in half a year. Thinking of the last reply, the corner of Finiao's mouth twitched. There are only a few words in the letter. The general meaning is, you are a nice person, but because the creditor came to collect debts, I don't have time to write much. Goodbye. Close black lens bracket. The granddaughter of the majestic Senju Hashirama, the leader of the Senju clan, the Konoha Sanin refused to repay the money he borrowed, ran away with a pig and injured the creditor. The brain circuits of these people in the ninja world are really puzzling. What do those creditors who lent Tsunade money want, do they want her not to pay back the money? Do you want to borrow money outside in the name of Uchiha? Anyway, the reputation of the Senju family is so bad. Konoha 51st year, February 20th. There is no doubt that Uchiha Asuka is one of the few single members of the Uchiha clan who is sunny, handsome, and gentle. He does not have the unique arrogance of the Uchiha family when he treats people outside the clan. He also treats his stupid apprentice with the same attitude. Very patient. After all, not everyone can possess the Sharingan and be able to copy ninjutsu like the Uchiha clan, and he is not a well-known mentor in the ninja world. Tsunade, the truly good teacher in the ninja world. She personally taught her apprentice medical skills, and in just two and a half years, she taught a trainee doctor to have superior medical skills, obtain the strange power of Tsunade's true inheritance, and solve injuries that even Chio and other medical ninjas could not handle, and even even Shie went to the pharmacy to prepare the antidote, but Haruno Sakura could not prepare it as quickly as she did alone. Close black lens bracket. Jiraiya, the truly good teacher in the ninja world. His disciples include not only Namikaze Minato, who is the fastest in the ninja world, but also the three bosses of the Land of Rain. Each of his disciples is a tough opponent, and after more than two years of his teaching, Uzumaki Naruto rose from the top of the class, became the Konoha hero who punched Orochimaru, kicked Dan Kakuzu away, and escaped Nagato with his mouth. He successfully reversed the reputation and achieved a counterattack in life. The true good teacher in the ninja world, Orochimaru. A scientist who is ambitious, has ideals and can put them into practice will often give people unexpected gains. After more than two years of his teaching, Sasuke successfully transformed from an Uchiha orphan with no hope of revenge to a figure who can talk to Kyubi with only the three Magatama Sharingan. But now, with his San Magatama Sharingan, he could only see Kashina's white belly and the fine, lightly dyed fur on the surface. If he stared at it for a long time, it would easily lead to some misunderstandings. Uchiha Asuka as a fake good teacher. With his superb medical ninjutsu, he bought some discounted medicinal materials from the Nara family's drug store, and then went to the market to buy a live fish with his own money. After throwing it on the ground twice, he asked his apprentice to practice it, and he practiced it until it was alive and released, and he practiced it to death all night. Eat dead fish. The theoretical courses are textbooks written by myself. Every morning, I write a piece of paper on A4 paper, which is today's textbook. The main theme is a fresh one. Although he is not like Jiraiya, Tsunade, and Orochimaru, who can teach Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura to hammer Kegaya Otsutsuki with bare hands in more than two years, he is still very conscientious. He was very confident that within five years, he would teach Shien to become an excellent medical ninja. This fish soup is really fresh. Well, after taking a sip of today's new fish soup, Asuka gave her a thumbs up and praised it. Your fish stew technique has improved much faster than your medical ninjutsu. Oh, medical ninjutsu is so difficult. After Mao Yushian took a sip of fish soup, she pursed her lips and said dejectedly. It's been four days and I haven't even gotten started yet. 
Teacher, when did you first get started? Quote. Me. Asuka put down the spoon, leaned back on the chair, and recalled. After three meals a day and 87 fish soups in a row, I started to eat. If I don't start, I will starve to death. That teacher. Mao Yuxian looked at the fish soup on the table, swallowed her saliva subconsciously, and said in a daze. Are we going to have to drink fish soup 87 times? That's you, I won't drink it. With that said, Asuka wiped his mouth with a tissue. He thought of Haruno Sakura who was not yet born, and Tsunade who lost money in a certain gambling house, and continued. To be honest, I still can't understand how someone could be inferior to Sunagakar's number one medical ninja after only two and a half years of training. That old woman was a powerful medical ninja who could resurrect the dead and give life to puppets. The only reason I can think of now is that the old woman may have seen that Sunagakar's high-end combat power is no longer good, and she plans to flatter Konoha. Quote. Old woman. Mao Yuxian looked at the flying bird in confusion. Which old woman can give life to a puppet? Why does it sound so fantasy? The method of the immortal of six paths. That old woman is a senior member of Sunagakar village, Chio. Pointing to the location of Konoha guesthouse, Asuka poked the fish in the bowl and said in a low tone. It's Ebizo's eldest sister. If there is a ceiling for medical skills in the ninja world, the, Chio, living in the world now counts as one, Tsunade, counts as one, and your teacher and I compare those two, and they count as one third. Wow, sensei, your medical ninjutsu is so powerful. Azuki Shien's eyes lit up with stars this time. She had only heard that the teacher's medical ninjutsu was very strong, but she didn't expect that he could be as strong as half Tsunade-sama. According to legend, Tsunade-sama can cure all difficult and complicated diseases and is the number one medical ninja in the ninja world. Thinking of this, she saw Asuka's mood suddenly become a little low for some unknown reason. Uiyushian quickly left her seat and patted his shoulder to comfort him. Teacher, you are still very young. Don't think that you are inferior to them now and deny yourself in your heart. You just can't compare to Tsunade and Chio. But I heard what the teacher said just now. In the long history of ninjas in the ninja world, how many people can compare to those two? This kind of opponent that has not been encountered for thousands of years, it is useless for anyone to come. If I were a teacher, I would dare to consider myself to be the third best in the ninja world. Quote. Really. Asuka shook his head, and after shaking out the images of the three battles in his mind, he looked outside the village with his hands on his hips, a look of pride on his face. Chio is 57 this year and Tsunade is 38 this year. When Chio dies, I will be the second in the ninja world, and when Tsunade dies, I will be the number one in the ninja world. Clang. 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 At this time, the clock on the wall suddenly rang. Finiao glanced at the time on the wall and saw that the hour hand pointed to 10 o'clock. He stood up and said. I'll go out to do some errands. You can go home quickly after eating. Good. Afterwards, Asuka jumped to the roof and jumped all the way to the Nara tribe. He touched the report letter in his arms and looked at the center of the clan. In the past few days, he has reported to Nara Yoshino one after another the information about his coming to the Nara tribe. Out of the good qualities of a detective, I just waited to finish the finishing work today treating Ryoko's son for the last time, and then go and hand over the remaining information to her tomorrow. Then Nara Yoshino will discover that he, the private detective, is actually the real culprit who broke into the Nara clan's land and knocked on the widow's door in the middle of the night. Um, if there is no accident, there should be no accident. After Finiao smiled, he opened the door and walked in with ease. Except for Naruto, the holy mother who was influenced by Asura, the rest of the ninja world repaid kindness and revenge. Donzo's power minus one. Squeak. After hearing the sound of the door, Nara Ryoko, who was hiding in the room, turned to look at the door. Um, why is he here? When she saw Asuka sneaking into the house, she immediately frowned, and then as if she thought of something again, a look of surprise appeared on her face. I'm afraid this guy didn't have the same purpose as himself and others. He came to intercept the, real murderer, and wanted to obtain substantive evidence. And looking at how skilled this guy is, he seems to have come in more than once. Professional, pick all the points in advance. Why did you come here? Looking at the sudden appearance of, Nara Ryoko, Asuka blinked with a daze on his face. 
He has come here several times, and every time he comes in like this after evading the patrols. Nara Ryoko lowered her voice at this time. You quickly find a place to hide. Question mark question mark question mark question mark. Hearing this, Finiao was even more confused. Your son has to go back to sleep after I treat him. Why are you hiding? Thinking of this, he closed the door and went straight to the topic. Where's the child? Ryoko Nara pointed to the empty house next to her and lowered her voice. In the empty house next door. Fine. Asuka turned around and prepared to leave. If she had known her son was nearby, why would she be here? And this guy gave me a weird feeling today. At this time, Ryoko Nara suddenly grabbed Asuka's arm and frowned. Where are you going? Then, she stood up and grabbed Asuka's arm, lowering her voice. You were unusually calm when you saw me just now, which proves that you also guessed something. That's right. Based on the information you provided, we roughly deduce that the person may come again in the middle of the night today. So, we are here today to block him personally. Unexpectedly, your ideas and ours actually collided. If you leave now, it is very likely to ruin our plan. Today, the patrols in the Nara clan received orders to not see outside intruders, but as long as people go out, they can easily be hidden in the dark. The tribesmen everywhere caught him. Since you also know about this, then just wait here with us and hide yourself quickly. Quote. Us. Hearing Uchiha Asuka's confused voice, she pointed at the furniture around her and said. There are already people here, the curtains are also occupied, and the cabinet next to them is occupied. There is dust under the bed, and there is no one there. Quote dot quote. Asuka walked toward the curtains with a silent expression. He secretly lifted a corner of the curtains and saw Mrs. Chudao hiding inside showing him a friendly smile. Then he went to the cabinet, opened the cabinet a crack, and then saw Mrs. Nara and Mrs. Yamanaka hiding inside, and Mrs. Yamanaka also made a silence gesture towards him. There were actually five people hiding in this small room. Oh, count me six. Am I exposing myself now? Or will you expose yourself tomorrow? Far away from the center of Konoha village, inside a hut in the Nara tribe, the atmosphere was a bit quiet and scary. In the dim light, you can see the simple and old furnishings in the cabin. The slightly moldy ceiling and the surrounding white walls create a strong sense of gap. In the corner, a tall figure stood blankly outside the cabinet door. Asuka crossed his arms in front of his chest, and kept tapping the muscles on his forearms with his index finger, looking thoughtful. There were five people in the room and they most likely couldn't wait for the, real culprit, to come. After all, the, real culprit, was standing in the room, but it was not appropriate to talk about it now. At that time, it may be the shadow restraint that controls his actions, and then the plump and fat man from the Akamichi family grabs his neck with both hands and jumps into the air, doing a fierce, plum blossom sit. Finally, the people from the Yamanaka family are snatching his body and making a series of inappropriate things. Um. After thinking about the possibility of Shi's death, Asuka's body trembled, and then he thought of the abnormality in Nara Ryoko just now, and a look of surprise appeared on his face. Finally knew what was wrong. It should be that the Yamanaka clan used ninjutsu to control, Nara Ryoko, and then used her to fish. Now all the fish have come into the house. Well. Staying here tonight is a waste of time, let's go treat the child. Asuka Station, who did not forget his original intention, thought about it for a moment, then turned around and headed straight for, Nara Ryoko, at the door. Boom. Boom. Hearing a slight knock on the door, Finiao immediately stopped and looked at the knocked door with a surprised look on his face. Good guy. Could it be that Ryoko Nara really has another man? Seeing a thick palm with male characteristics suddenly appear at the door, Asuka hurriedly looked for a place to hide. Done. After realizing that the bed was some distance away from him, he gritted his teeth, pressed his two palms together tightly, and the static chakra began to flow. Boom. Um. Chakra fluctuations. Feeling a sudden chakra fluctuation in the house, the man outside the door dodged and entered the house. When he saw Ryoko Nara staring at him with a wary face, and a child standing there looking at him stupidly, he felt relieved in his heart. The chakra fluctuation just now was probably Ryoko's subconscious behavior when she saw an uninvited guest in the room. Cold. 
After calling out the other party's code name, he straightened the fox mask on his face and said in a low voice. My lord needs you. Need me. Seeing the mask on the other person's face and the tone of his voice, Nara Ryoko, vaguely guessed the other person's identity. Donzo's subordinates are really troublesome. She had been opposed to Ryoko joining the so-called, Anbu training department, at the beginning, but she didn't expect that Ryoko was a stubborn guy and refused to listen to advice, and actually went to find Danzo privately. Being a ninja and performing missions is already very dangerous, but Danzo's missions are even more dangerous. It's easy to get in, but it's not so easy to get out. When she thought that Ryoko's body had been invaded by her, and even if she returned it, the other party would have to sleep until tomorrow morning, she straightened her long hair that fell to her forehead and spoke in Ryoko's tone. What mission? Liang, you should finish the last mental test first. If there is no mental problem, we will gather at the same place tomorrow. Good. That. At this time, the, root, ninja glanced at Ryoko standing next to him. He pointed at the child standing on the floor in a daze and said hesitantly. Not taking him with you. Question mark question mark question mark. Ryoko, looked at the ninja with a question mark on her face, and then she looked at the child again, her face full of confusion. Isn't it a mental test? What are you taking him for? The root ninja frowned. He stared at Ryoko's reaction and said in a strange tone. During the first two mental tests, your son started crying as soon as he left you, which caused you to be often distracted and your test scores only reached the passing line. This has already caused dissatisfaction among adults. It's okay, he won't cry anymore. Just now, Uchiha Asuka transformed into a child in front of his eyes. If he didn't feel embarrassed, he could cry as much as he wanted. He wasn't his son anyway, so crying wouldn't distract him. At this time, the root ninja said firmly after thinking for a while. Better bring it with you, don't waste your time or mine. Well, Nara Ryoko, was stunned for a moment. She looked at the insistent eyes of this, root, nin, and her words of rejection were instantly stuck in her throat. She is now using the identity of, Nara Ryoko. If she wants to reveal any flaws, with Donzo's thoughts, she will probably issue several fatal missions. This was also the reason why she objected to Ryoko entering the route in the first place. It was not easy to come out alive. Thinking of this, she turned around and hugged Asuka. After glaring at him, she turned back to the root ninja and said calmly. Let's go. Ignoring the struggle of the child in her arms, Nara Ryoko followed the root nin directly to the living room and started the mental test. That is the legendary questionnaire survey. Until now, Finiao is still confused. There are indeed too many accidents tonight. He stretched out his hand and pulled her hair. As a result, his thigh was twisted in circles, and the severe pain finally made Asuka accept the fact. He looked at, nay, Shinobi who was preparing a questionnaire, then put his hands around, Nara Ryoko's neck, pretending to be intimate, but actually murmuring into her ear. Can't you fill it in yourself? Nara Ryoko looked forward, holding the child's butt with her right arm, and wrote on his back with the fingers of her left hand. Shut up, don't cause trouble for Ryoko, Danzo is not that easy to deal with. Close black lens bracket. After finishing writing, she patted Asuka on the back, then sat directly on the sofa, took the paper from the, root, nin, glanced at the title on it, and said calmly. Ready. Start. As soon as he finished speaking, Asuka saw Ryoko Nara's eyes instantly become serious. Questionnaire. He also heard about the famous name of Root Questionnaire. It is said that the above question is extremely testing people's hearts. If he guessed correctly, the masked ninja now should still be a ninja who is proficient in perception. Through the respondent's mental fluctuations, heart rate, and writing speed, he can judge whether the other party is loyal to Danzo-sama. Thinking of this, Finiao secretly looked at the title on the paper with curiosity in his heart. Question. If you were a member of the Anbu Development Department, and were attacked by powerful ninjas in your village and were unable to eliminate them, what would be your first thought? 1. Rescue, evacuate and resettle villagers. 2. Gather the remaining ninjas on the spot and try your best to stop the enemy ninja's attack. 3. Collect enemy intelligence on the battlefield first, and look for opportunities to transmit the intelligence to the Hokage. 4. Go to the root base, 
follow the command of the adults, wait for the precise moment to attack with the whole army, and strive to kill the enemy with one blow. After reading the first question, Finiao raised his eyebrows and couldn't help feeling a little emotional. This question is really terrible. Since he entered the ninja school, he has been taught that if Konoha encounters a surprise attack by an enemy. The first stage, destroy the enemy's surprise attack force. If it cannot be eliminated, immediately enter the second stage. The second stage, leading non-combatants to evacuate, letting women and children go to the village shelter, and then entering the third stage. The third stage, use the entire village to destroy the enemy. How could he go to Danzo in the first stage? If he was asked to choose this question, he would definitely choose one first, then two, and then three. Seeing that Ryoko Nara chose four without hesitation, Asuka twitched the corner of her mouth and her eyes fell on the second question. Question. If Naruto was having a one-on-one -on -one battle with a powerful enemy in the village, what do you think you should do? 1. Rescue villagers trapped in the aftermath of the battle. 2. Guard the Hokage in place to prevent other enemies from sneaking up on the Hokage. 3. Summon nearby ninjas to surround the dueling duo, creating great psychological pressure on the enemy. 4. Ninjas must be prepared to sacrifice at all times, believe in the strength of Hokage-sama, and believe in the judgment of Danzo-sama. As long as the village remains, our roots will remain. Go to the root base as soon as possible, follow the instructions of the adults, and prevent someone from attacking the village while the Hokage is entangled, causing greater losses to the village. Question mark question mark question mark question mark. Seeing Ryoko Nara choosing four again without hesitation, Asuka directly buried his head on her shoulder. There is no need to read the rest of the questions, just choose Danzo. If there is the slightest hesitation, hesitation, or wavering, big points will be deducted. It really tests human nature. But who is possessing Ryoko Nara now? Isn't Mrs. Yamanaka staying in the closet? Call. After passing the test and watching the, root, ninja leave, she took a few deep breaths and thought to herself. My answer today should be pretty good, I hope it won't cause any trouble to Ryoko. Thinking of this, she noticed the heavy feeling of something falling on her neck, and her eyes slowly moved down to look at Asuka lying on her chest, arms wrapped around her neck. As an excellent medical ninja, the number of children he comes into contact with is comparable to the third Hokage who gives lectures at the ninja school every year. The children transformed by this guy really make it impossible for outsiders to find any flaws. He looks more like an eldest nephew than his own eldest nephew. She was so nervous just now that she forgot about it after answering the questions. When she saw her eldest nephew lying on top of her, she actually nuzzled him affectionately. When she thought that this guy was transformed into a bird, and that he kept pushing his nose with his hands, showing great resistance, Ryoko, suddenly had a few blue veins appear on his face and forehead. Moreover, through her calmness when answering the questions just now, she suddenly thought of Asuka's identity as a medical ninja, and the fog in her mind completely dissipated. 90% of what happened to Liangzi recently was this guy's fault. She took a few deep breaths, her tone instantly became colder, and she said. Aren't you going down yet? Snapped. Asuka jumped steadily to the floor, then released the transformation and stretched his muscles. After noticing that the atmosphere in the air was a bit awkward, he randomly found a topic. What exactly are your plans tonight? Hearing this, she glanced at Asuka with a half smile, then stood up and walked back to the bedroom, talking as she walked. I used the basic secret technique of the Yamanaka family, heart turned, to control Ryoko. After, that man, came, I used shadow restraint to restrict his movements. Then the Akamichi clan beat him out of combat effectiveness, and the Yamanaka clan entered his I would not hesitate to use mentally damaging torture ninjutsu to obtain information. If he was not restrained and allowed to escape by chance, I would also arrange for a tracking ninja. But now everything is useless. Uchiha Asuka, let's talk in a minute. Quote. Very important. Regardless of whether it's important or not, if you dare to run away today, Ryoko will appear at your house tomorrow, and the wedding banquet the day after tomorrow will appear in the Uchiha clan. Hearing that the other party was about to send the widow to his home, Asuka's retreating pace was momentarily halted. He looked at, Ryoko's leaving back and murmured to himself. Isn't it possible that he was discovered? 
When she sent away some of her helping girlfriends and completely lifted the clan alert and returned to the room, she saw Asuka leaning on the sofa, with the word, thinking, written all over her face. Uchiha Asuka, do you think I look like a fool? You lied to me for so long. Looking around, Asuka saw Nara Yoshino standing in front of him with a dark face. Does Shikamaru's mother have such a high IQ? I haven't confessed myself yet, and I'm exposed. Mrs. Yoshino, were you the one who controlled Ryoko just now? Um. Yoshino nodded. She looked at the confused look on Asuka's face and explained a few words. The three clans of Inaraka Butterfly have formed an alliance as early as the Warring States period. Our three clans have always been in harmony with each other, like one big family. This is something you Uchiha cannot match. After 15 generations of close cooperation with Zigludi, the managers of our three major families have mastered some basic secrets of the other family. After all, only by knowing the basics can we cooperate more closely, right? So, why don't you find out now? For example, your purpose in approaching the Nara family. Quote. Hearing this, Asuka knew that he had been completely exposed. He stood up and pointed at the sofa, motioning for Yoshino to sit down. Then he came to a place where it was convenient to escape and spoke. Actually, I came here to arrange a marriage for the clan leader. I have met that man Uchiha Fugaku. He is not a cheater in marriage. Don't use this excuse to lie to me. What if the patriarch gets divorced? Nara Yoshino seemed to have heard some joke, she pursed her lips and smiled. He will leave. Leave. Seeing Asuka's determined expression, a flash of lightning suddenly flashed in Yoshino's mind, and then she looked at him with the eyes of a cherished animal and sighed. It turns out that the tribesman Makoto scolded was you. You, the Uchiha clan, are the most tolerant clan I have ever seen. There are so many ideas within the clan. Quote. Mrs. Yoshino, now that you know the reason, go back to sleep. Don't worry. Yoshino leaned on the sofa, pointed at Ryoko who was unconscious in the bedroom, and continued. While Ryoko is still unconscious, you can tell me about other purposes. Any other purpose? Asuka stopped and secretly observed Shikamaru's mother. He saw Shikamaru holding his chin with one hand and looking at him with interest. His eyes slowly moved down, looking at the other person's round belly and said. Does making friends count? Make friends. Following Asuka's gaze, Yoshino lowered his head and looked at himself. He was silent for a long time and said a little uncertainly. Are you greedy for my body? No no. Don't men always have this kind of mentality when looking to make friends with women? Seeing that the other party was thinking a little wrong, Asuka waved his hand and explained. I actually want to be friends with your son. Ah. Yoshino sneered. She didn't believe that someone wanted to be friends with her son before he was born. Could this predict the future? Can you predict that your son will become a big shot in the future and invest in advance? But you invested too early, he is still in the womb. Thinking of this, Yoshino reached for the pillow on the sofa and said perfunctorily. Shikamaru can't speak yet, but he just kicked me in the stomach. As a mother, I can understand his thoughts. He agreed. Tell me about other purposes. Quote. Seeing Nara Yoshino talking about the train, Asuka spread his hands and said seriously. Gone. Gone. It's really gone. He does have two purposes, one is to bring some warmth to Donzo's subordinates, and the other is to kidnap Shikamaru and make a friend with a lollipop while he is just learning to read. Then listen to me. At this time, Nara Yoshino glanced sideways at Ryoko, who was still unconscious, and then his eyes fell on Asuka, and his expression instantly turned cold. Your real purpose is not to say anything. When I was answering the question just now, I suddenly remembered that your expression when you saw Leongzi was so natural. You had no way of knowing that I entered Leongzi's body. At that time, you regarded me as the real Leongzi. And I, at that time, just placed you on our side, mistakenly thinking that you were also here to arrest someone, but in fact, the person we want to arrest is you. Do you think I'm right? Quote. Seeing Asuka standing silent, Yoshino licked his dry lips and continued. Ryoko's identity is more obvious than that of ordinary people, and she has several obvious labels. Root member, Nara clan chief's cousin, widow. When I borrowed Leongzi's body to get intimate with you subconsciously, I knew from your slightly resisting movements that you didn't like her, so you could rule out the label of widow. 
You Uchiha are not interested in shadow imitation, and I have a good relationship with your clan leader's wife, Makoto. Except for some secrets involving the clan, I will share other things with her. Ryoko is very loyal to the clan, and she will not do anything to harm the Nara clan. In addition, there are many Nara clan members who are the cousin of the clan leader, so this label can be eliminated. Then the answer is the last one, she is Donzo's subordinate. Donzo's attitude towards you Uchiha is known to everyone in Konoha. Are you planning to take action against Danzo? Quote. You say. At this time, Finiao rubbed his chin with one hand. He looked in the direction of his family and said with some hesitation. Is there a possibility that our clan leader likes widows with status? Question mark question mark question mark. Nara Yoshino was stunned for a moment. She thought that the way this guy looked at her just now was a bit hairy. The clan leader likes a high status widow, and the clan leader likes a high status wife. There seems to be nothing wrong with the logic, but is this what normal people think? After taking a few deep breaths, Nara Yoshino stood up and came to Asuka. She looked at the door in front of her and said to herself. In order to promote the special bond between the three tribes of Inaraka Butterfly, the Serutobi tribe will hand over earrings to the people of the three tribes as witnesses to witness our friendship. The friendship between the third Hokage and Danzo Shimura is just like our three major families. Actually, I quite like Makoto, but Makoto's identity is destined to be kidnapped by the will of her tribe. Your current ideas are dangerous. Don't involve the Nara clan. For saving my nephew, I will repay you in other ways. Don't try to threaten Leonzi. Quote. Asuka put his hands behind his back and looked at the moon that was mostly covered by the window. The pale moonlight shone on his face, making his originally rosy cheeks seem to lose their color in an instant. The pale complexion coupled with the horrifying voice gave people goosebumps. Lady. Um. After noticing the strange atmosphere in the air, Nara Yoshino instantly became vigilant. So fast. Looking at Uchiha Asuka who suddenly teleported to her side, her pupils shrank, and before she could say anything, Asuka patted her shoulder and said in a serious tone. We, the Uchiha clan, will do our best to help Tsunade Senju become the fifth Hokage. Yoshino looked at the other party's eyes and forced her to express her position. After hesitating for a moment, she spoke. If Princess Tsunade really wants to choose the fifth Hokage, we will definitely support her. Then Uchiha wants to become Tsunade's family. You don't object to this, do you? It's a good thing that you have dreams. I don't object to this. Then I want the patriarch to divorce. You don't object to this, right? I have no control over your family's internal affairs. You said you wanted to repay me, right? Um, if I have the chance, I'll persuade Makoto to get divorced and make a living. The wife of the Uchiha clan leader must always have a spirit of sacrifice. After saying that, she saw Asuka disappear into the room. Looking at the other person's leaving figure, the expression on Yoshino's face gradually solidified. Now her heart was a little beat, and the state of being in control was also broken. The other party did not show the expected anger, sadness, and arrogance. Instead, he said some confusing words to himself. Can I help you persuade Mikan? Even if I advise divorce, the chance of your Uchiha and Senju getting married is only 1% of the chance of Tsunade marrying Jiraiya. Tisk. Shaking his head, Nara Yoshino decided to stay away from the Uchiha people except Makoto in the future, as he had brain problems. But, looking at the note Asuka stuffed into him before leaving, Nara Yoshino couldn't help but frown and murmured. Your daughter-in-law is gone. It's really baffling. The son is still in his mother's womb. Where did he get his daughter-in-law? The earth has fallen asleep, and except for the gentle breeze blowing, there are only the noises of drunkards, the sounds of stray dogs fighting, and the sounds of stray cats in love that come from nowhere on the deserted streets. Aha! Uh -huh. The flying birds moved quickly on the roof under the moonlight. After looking back at the Nara clan behind him, he reached out and picked his nose, then jumped out of the house and walked slowly down the street. Allies. The two most uncertain factors in the world of Naruto are how crazy Black Zetsu will go to save his mother, and when his allies will turn against him. Sunagakar village has been an ally of Konoha since the first day when Shinobu village was founded. Later, it stabbed Konoha in the first battle, kicked Konoha in the second world war, and even reached Mount Kikyo in the third war. 
This is equivalent to he ran to someone's door and smashed the glass. It is said that Sunagakar came again this time to sign a treaty of friendship and alliance. Asuka couldn't help but feel a little sad when he thought about the incident a few years ago when Sunagakar and Orochimaru's families joined forces to bring shame on the third generation old man. Sunagakar is such a ruthless ally, and he will turn against you whenever he says he will. Scanning the drunken men on the street, he thought of the three words Nara Yoshino wrote on the table with his hand dipped in tea when he was talking to him, and his expression couldn't help but feel a little embarrassed. Wait a minute. If the fourth Hokage did not die, he would actually be willing to wait, but the fourth Hokage's life was too short. However, she asked me to, wait a moment, but I wanted to change, Shikamaru's wife. If Mrs. Yoshino knew that I planned to arrange a marriage between her son and Uchiha, I wonder if she would jump with joy. After Finiao returned home, he turned on the system directly, looked at the big word, complete, on it, thought for a moment, and said silently. System. Sometimes, you don't actually need your consent to make friends or not. In childhood, as the mother, the mother has the final say in the family and who the child makes friends with is generally decided by the mother. If she thinks the other person is good, she will allow you to be friends with him. If she thinks the other person is not good, then she cannot make friends with him. Close black lens bracket. Congratulations to the host for using his wisdom and sweat to make friends with Nara Shikamaru when he was ignorant. The path of cultivation in the ninja world has opened up a lot in an instant. In terms of the general strategy for the future, Nara Shikamaru will help you formulate it. You only need to have the minimum knowledge and literacy and learn how to become a leader. Close black lens bracket. Rewards for this mission. Deepen the progress of Sharingan eye opening once, a mysterious redemption scroll, and a letter from a stranger. Close black lens bracket. Because this time the host has gained the friendship of the other party in a special way, a hidden side mission will be opened. Whether to settle the reward. Finiao looked at the text displayed on the system and stood silent for a long time. He estimated that Shikamaru's birth date was probably September. Then in October, the guy should be able to recognize people. In November, he should be able to read, and in December, he should be able to recognize lollipops. Then he can deceive children. Before a person is born in his mother's womb, his friend suddenly gets plus one. Thinking of this, Finiao closed his eyes and said. Settlement. Another stream of heat suddenly penetrated into Asuka's eyes, and as the Sharingan opened automatically, the stream of heat traveled back and forth in the eyes until it disappeared. The increase in eye-opening progress this time is extremely terrifying, nearly 20 times higher than last time. If the Sharingan is digitized, before he obtains the system, the progress from the opening of the kaleidoscope 3000 10 thousandths. After completing the mission for the first time, the distance to the opening of kaleidoscope size is 3000.5 10 thousand. After completing the mission for the second time, the distance to the kaleidoscope's eye opening progress is 3120.5 10 thousand. Among them, 100 is the result of daily practice in the past two months. Call. After taking a deep breath, Asuka's eyes fell on the table, he picked up the redemption coupon and put it in front of his eyes for a while, then murmured to himself. A mysterious exchange volume. It can be exchanged for weapons of any style and great power. A powerful weapon. Seeing these words, Asuka's mind instantly thought of nuclear war, one of the 108 ways to destroy the world. Although that thing can't destroy the world, it can destroy mankind. Wait for the day when you are finished. Everyone in the ninja world will see the mushroom egg rising in the sky. However, in this world with chakra, mushroom eggs seem a bit underwhelming. After all, a tailed beast jade from nine tails seems to be almost as powerful as a mushroom egg. If the system already has such unreasonable things, then there should also be some even more unreasonable things, right? After thinking in his mind for a long time, Finiao crushed the redemption coupon in his hand, and then saw a blue screen suddenly appeared in front of him, with a few big words written on it. Please host choose weapon style. Six clean depleted uranium bombs. The corresponding weapon was not matched, please choose again. Six barrel Barrett intercontinental nuclear blaster. The corresponding weapon was not matched, please choose again. Here comes a hydrogen bomb, one that can knock Konoha out of a crater even if it hits it. 
The corresponding weapon was not matched. Please choose again. Don't you have any hot weapons? Then give me the black knife knight, the one with Hawkeye. The corresponding weapon was not matched. Please choose again. Quote dot quote. This time, Asuka was completely silent. He looked at the blue screen in front of him with a thoughtful look on his face. Are my demands too high? Or are you looking down upon you? Or maybe it's because of some reasons. For example, the system has always thought that this year is Konoha's 57th year, but actually this year is Konoha's 51st year. In the system's timeline, Sasuke should be six years old now. Is this a powerful weapon in the eyes of a six-year-old child? Recalling the powerful weapons he imagined in his mind when he was six years old, Asuka held his chin with one hand and hesitated. A sword that can cut bones without curling the edge. Match the corresponding weapon, Kusanagi sword. As soon as he finished speaking, a long sword with a cold light appeared on the table. Looking down at the somewhat familiar long sword, Finiao frowned and murmured. Why do I think this thing looks so much like the one in Orochimaru's hand? At the same time, somewhere in the country of grass, Midorashi Anko subconsciously touched her surroundings with her right hand. After realizing that there was nothing around her, she instantly jumped up from the bed. Throwing away the pillow and quilt, she looked at the empty bed and blinked blankly. Then she didn't even bother to put on her shoes, so she jumped off the bed and lowered her head to search in the room. Where's the sword? I was sleeping with it just now, why is it suddenly gone? Quote. It's over, I lost Lord Orochimaru's sword. After searching the room, she opened the door and ran towards the laboratory where Orochimaru was. Boom. After hearing the door being pushed open violently from the outside, Orochimaru put down the bottle in his hand and looked up at the door. Lord Orochimaru. Seeing Anko running over with an anxious expression, Orochimaru curved the corners of his mouth and said in a hoarse voice. Anko, what's wrong? Oh no. Midorashi Anko put her hands on her knees and panted. Lord Orochimaru, I lost the Kusanagi sword you lent me. Speaking of this, when Orochimaru didn't respond to her, she thought that the other party didn't believe what she said, so she then said while gesturing. I was just sleeping in my arms on the bed, and then the sword disappeared. With a swish, it's gone. Really, it just disappeared in a flash. When I held it empty, I couldn't find it if I tried to look for it again. Um. After reorganizing Anko's confusing words in his mind, Orochimaru nodded slightly without any look of annoyance on his face. He rubbed Anko's hair and said nonchalantly. I still have weapons like that here. Moreover, no chakra fluctuations were sensed here just now, nor was any ninja aura detected. It must be that the other party is a ninja who is proficient in concealment. Don't waste your time on dead things. When the sword appears again, go get it back. Also, this place should have been discovered, go and pack your things. Quote. All right. Midorashi Anko lowered her head and kicked the stone in frustration. How could that thing disappear out of thin air? Did an unknown ninja really snatch it from me? Go to Lord Orochimaru's base just to grab the sword from me. Although it is a good sword. Thanks for watching.